<laughs> Ooga fucking Ooga cunts. And welcome to Musical Literacy. And uh, this is the first episode. Looks like uh, we're all good to go, guys. Uh, Pickle, Ace. Shmackle. Hi. Pickle, Ace. Shmackle. What's up? There we are. Schmeckle, Ace, Pickle. Schmeckle, low. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so tell them what the fuck we're doing tonight, Trippy. We're doing an intro to the show. We're talking about what we talk about in the future topics of the show and the things of the stuff and things. Sounds like I made a sentence almost, but not really. Yeah, there, there were there were definitely there. words there. Mm-hmm. Tonight it's we're going to be uh, introducing the topic for the fucking show. Uh, we also, uh, as you see in the title, have a sex cult uh, to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, before we get into telling them about the show, uh, tease us a little with the, the R. Kelly shit. Mm. God damn it. R yeah, R. Kelly can't stop fucking diddling people that he's not supposed to fucking diddle. And accepting them into his Is it a does he have a uh, like a compound that he has these people come live at? Kind of. Like apparently what he's doing is like he has a separate house for these bitches and like kind of like locks them away. So yeah. But I mean, we'll get balls deep into it like R. Kelly does later. <laughs> okay, so, uh, basically, uh, the show, obviously, from the title, is going to be uh, music-related. Would you guys like to uh, kind of explain uh, the structure, the format, all that shit? What we'll be covering for uh, the first uh, like 8 to 12 episodes or so? Go ahead, Ace. All right, so uh, freaking, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of cover what was going on in music from like early 1900s to 1950, just because there wasn't anything too fucking crazy going on back then. And then from 1950 like to 1960, we'll start decade by decade, like breaking down different shit, whether it be, like, for fucking rock, jazz, the different influences, the big fucking power players between those fucking decades, all the way up until uh, we get to the present time. And then when we get to the present time, we could obviously talk about stupid shit that's fucking going on in the present. But also, we'll fucking throw in some things like uh, do an episode on fucking backmasking, reverse lyrics, Possibly that even, like fun. yeah. Possibly even an episode on like the brown note. Oh, boom, boom, boom. some people uh, <clears throat> possibly in the chat could use to use a brown note because people get you know to the point where they just can't poop. Maybe they want to listen to a tune while they're doing it. I have not ever had that issue. Where you can't poop? Yeah, never. No, oh. you never been. Uh, why? Why? Why am I constipated? There you go. You never uh, been constipated? Diarrhea, uh, frequently. Constipation, not once. That's what Taco Bell is for. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Taco it's, Bell it's, does it's a poor help. diet. <laughs> you can be sitting in your car, you're rocking out to some hardcore black metal, and and then you're like, oh, wait, I can't poop. Headbanging would be a lot easier if I emptied my balls. So you go to Taco Bell, then you come back and you get into your car, and then Pickle, name a band from black metal. You listen to them. Uh, Dimbu Burger. Some shit like that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, while that's playing and you're shitting, people are like, oh. oh, that guy's just listening to music. He's definitely not screaming while uh, he poops. It's obviously the guy in the song. This black metal is super popular. It is. Just yeah. not in the U.S. or Canada. Or Europe. Or Japan. No, it's, it's popular in Europe. One yes, specific place. certain parts of Europe. <laughs> it's huge in the Netherlands. Right. It's probably ah. it's it's probably uh, more specific to those areas because of the like the the topic matter that they usually cover. Yeah, true. 
but uh like talking about music uh, this stuff like uh ace was talking about the back masking and stuff like that that's where i kind of know things you know what i mean that's where i know more stuff is like 60s 70s i know some of the 50s holy shit trippy you know things yeah yeah i know some stuff about the 50s cuz uh growing up one of my parents was super into elvis and their entire dining room was full of elvis photos and Oh, I, I knew a couple like that. I hate people like that. Yeah, not anymore. She gave away a bunch of her paintings when we got this shitty apartment. and Yeah. But, um, that. <laughs> and then my stepdad was into, like, Pink Floyd and the Beatles and the Doors and stuff like that era. Those eras, rather, because it's several. And, um, Temptations, you know, because Detroit, Motown. Yeah. <laughs> there Thanks we for go. chiming in, Tickle. And yeah. uh, on top of all that, uh, you obviously know a little bit about rap. Uh, Tiny obviously bit. Obviously, not very much since you're a juggle, but <laughs> you know, uh, some. Label me as that if you want, but you know, I'm uh, more into the 70s stuff. <laughs> 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 and then maybe, you know, I could say Twisted is probably my favorite band. Out of the horror core scene group, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I, I gotta say, after listening them, listening to them uh, the other day, they're they're not as bad as they could be. Yeah, like they're they're not ICP. Yeah, when they're I was gonna say when their mentors are ICP, you know, <laughs> <laughs> they've definitely got a lot more skill than them. For probably where a lot of their you know infighting came from, but yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, speaking of rap, uh, R&B, I guess. R&B, uh, I guess so, yeah. Uh, d tell me about, uh, tell me about Kanye West, er, Kanye West, R. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to start a new rumor, y'all. Let's go ahead and that. And then all of a sudden, Kanye West will make tweets about your show, and you'll get more subs, and then people will bitch at you and call you a racist. Yeah, everybody start talking <laughs> about uh, Kanye West's sex cult. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Him and uh, Kim Kardashian run it together, and they brand people. The cult of big booty bitches. Yeah, no, that's Side Dub's cult. That's Side Dub's man. That's why he's got three B's in his name. Hey, right, so uh, R. Kelly, <laughs> uh, the, the fuck's he doing? Oh, oh what is he doing? Not the fuck is he doing? It's who the fuck is he doing? And what isn't he doing with this cult? So, but, uh, oh, go ahead, Trippy. You go ahead. No, I was going to say, because you were bringing up the whole I fucking taking away cell phone shit. Yeah. Well, supposedly he goes out and like he'll find, or he has people that help him find young girls that can, that have like a musical talent of some sort. And then he gets in good with the parents and they're, they're like, oh my God, our Kelly's talking to our family. You know, uh, my daughter must have some pretty good skills if our Kelly's coming in. And, you know, uh, a lot of the parents are kind of around the era of, or, you know, old enough to remember when our Kelly was actually a big name. But somehow they forgot the, the pissing on people thing. And True. him marrying Aaliyah when she was 15. Yeah. Yeah. I, I Wasn't guess... the girl that he pissed on like 13? Yeah. Or was she 15 too? I, I think she was also 15. But I, I guess the uh, Aaliyah thing would be the the start of the weirdness, right? Yeah. Oh. It that. would have been uh, the first major, major red flag. Yeah, that was back in uh, 94. He uh, married Aaliyah when she was 15. And, like, that that is pretty giant fucking red flag. Like, yeah. all right. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're not we're not living out in fucking Alabama, so that's you know typically not fucking okay. Well, and to get parental consent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as the parents are cool with it, you can marry at whatever age. I think it's like after twelve or some shit. If that's that's a fucked up law. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry. If if you're not an adult, don't get married. 
If you're an adult, probably yeah. don't get married. But especially not if you're a kid and they're almost 30. Right. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, uh, I mean, especially if it's R. Kelly, but, you know, even if it's a uh, current famous black man or a white man, race doesn't matter. I'm not sure why I said black man there. Right. Got to be sure because, you know, there's not a, too too many white dudes that are doing R&B. <laughs> does, does anybody do R&B anymore? I don't think so. I think everybody's just doing mumble rap. Yeah. Uh, according to the fucking freshman cipher, yeah. I'm fucking... Dude, that shit sounds like they got the jaw wired shut and still tried to keep up. Because they all got the grill in, son. <laughs> Look at that hit song right there. And see, they they all get high on uh, on Xanax. Oh, I thought they were like the scissor thing. That's what I thought it was. Because I remember, um, who the no, fuck no, was it? Uh, was the, the fucking cough syrup wasn't uh, ridiculous enough. So hmm. uh, now they've moved on to fucking anti-anxiety drugs. Uh, they, they take Xanax to get high. Yeah, Jesus. Don't oh, they realize, like fucking. I got a cousin who was addicted to pills for a while, and that shit rotted his teeth out. Like, that's how many pills he was taking. It started to fuck his teeth up. That's why that would have been real, Sean. That's why you put the grill in and you got that shit going and shit. And then yeah, you like, throw on, uh, uh, I, I guess that's a good point. Uh, a lot of the shit, like, uh, the, the fucking cough syrup, that's got to rot your teeth. Uh -huh. uh, the, the pills and all, the sh all that shit, that's got to fuck with your teeth. They, maybe maybe that is why they cover it up with the fucking metal. Mm -hmm. So you can't see all the goddamn holes. Right. But we were talking R. Kelly. <laughs> yes, yeah, so R. Kelly. Uh, musically less disappointing than the mumble rappers, but uh, uh, apparently that's uh, the only way. Yeah. Let's just hear that his ex-wife that he was married to for 13 years is opening up about alleged abuse for the entire 13 year long marriage Eesh. so there's that there's the fact that uh there's been some girls or some family members whoever it is that came forward that have been talking about how uh like they let r kelly take their daughter and then they just lost all contact with her and thought oh she's probably safe she's with a big star like r kelly and probably nothing going on as far as her being in danger and then uh, once in a while, like the one chick, I think she got free of this little cult and she ended up calling her mom's phone number. And I don't know if she just got redirected or what, but it took a while. She was able to get a hold of her mother and start to talk to her. And uh, the mom says that when she spoke to her daughter, she just felt like that wasn't really her daughter anymore. You know, just brainwash, basically. And and I feel like part of that has to be has to be bad parenting you would think so yeah because why would you just let your girl go i don't know yeah. how old the chick was but i want to say she was like 13 or 15 or 14 or something like that yeah like, i don't care if it's a fucking celebrity don't send your kid off uh with any fucking stranger but especially not one who has a history of shit mm -hmm. i mean r kelly that these cases have not been not been dealt with quietly. They've been heavily publicized. Right. If you, to this day, are willing to, <laughs> to send your child with R. Kelly, you're a bad parent. Especially given the fact that he uh, was brought up on 13 separate charges of child porn in one year, too. Yep. Well, because Jesus he fucking Christ, really? Yeah, back in the day when he got caught peeing on that girl is considered child porn because she was under age. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. It wasn't 13. It was 14 counts back in 2008. Holy shit. I mean, like, yeah, you know, he's getting protected by something <clears throat> or somebody. And it ain't just money. You know, at that point, it's not just money that's protecting him. Kanye's protecting him with his Illuminati ties. Yeah, but Kanye's a clone who died in whatever year. Now he's blonde, or was blonde. Yeah, he used to be a blonde white man named Sven. Yeah. yeah you can look it up. 
I mean, you won't find it. It's been hidden, obviously, but you can definitely want to look it look up. What you're saying is he's Rick Astley in disguise. <laughs> yeah, because he's never yeah. going to give you up. Damn it. He said so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trying so, to look up stuff as we're talking here. <laughs> Uh, a woman accused Kelly of knowingly and intellectually infecting her with an STD. How do you? Oh, no, intentionally. Okay, I read that wrong. I was going to say, <laughs> how are you going to intellectually infect somebody with an STD? That sounds like a superpower. Well, apparently it wasn't just one person who backed up this sex cult claim. There mm -hmm. was two people who came forward and was like, yeah, no, this is a fucking thing. Yeah, the rest of the chicks are too brainwashed to see it is what... Um, at least one of those two people were saying they got that jungle fever. Yeah, but apparently he also uh, he shares these girls from what I heard. He shares them with friends. And uh, also makes them trim their pubic hair in a certain way that he likes or oh, not trim their hair. One of the two. I, I can't remember. There's too many sex cults. <laughs> you know what they say? Sharing is caring. Yeah, yeah. So they're probably you. just in there going, hey, he cares for us. He's sharing us. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. In. I know it's been a little off topic from, uh, but in, in, kind of in the same field because it's not part of music. But uh, the girl from Smallville, she got caught up with that whole sex cult thing, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a hashtag, guys. It's called it's hashtag mute R. Kelly. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, fucking boy boycotts don't do shit. Uh, yeah, I know, I know you wanna, I know what, I know you wanna feel like you're you're doing something, but a uh, boycott doesn't do shit. Well, especially you, know, you wanna hurt R. Kelly, publicize what he did, yep. make it public, reach out to people that you know, go to the cops, make it public to some audience. Uh, hound the fucking. Uh, legal uh uh officers the the legal representatives the people that can actually do something about it to do so i mean it, it shouldn't be uh mute r kelly it should be get r kelly put in fucking prison oh this is a you know yeah like you said basically just get him off the radio i don't remember the last time i heard one of his songs on the radio or the last time i listened to the radio <laughs> This is a great photo, though. Um, it's R. Kelly with hair. Like, a lot of it. I don't know. Let's just green share it. There you go. Isn't that cute? Look at this Jewish lawyer. <laughs> Super Jew. Yeah, that, that, like that guy Ken must Hyman be doing Stiven. his job right. He What's up? Getting, he must be doing his job right. He keeps getting them off. Right. But uh, so do as, our Kelly, <laughs> as our Kelly's in there thinking about the next one that he could get off. He's standing there with the cuffs on and the jumpsuit, and he's like, I kind of feel like DMX right now. Except for my jumpsuit's not pink. Yeah, look, look how fake, uh, fake repentant he looks. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess I should feel bad. <laughs> Maybe, or at least look like I feel bad. I didn't mean to get caught, but I mean, I did all, you know. No, guaranteed the fucking lawyer told him beforehand, make sure you don't smile. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to pee on her. I just got up, and she happened to be there, and her mouth was open, so, eh? Yeah. And then uh, my camera uh, happened to just be still on. And, and I had to go. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> call of nature, man. Yep. But it's just fucking disgusting, though. I mean, like, how do you, how do you think that you're doing the right thing when you have a little group of girls, what, no matter what their age is, and you're sitting there telling them every single fucking thing they gotta do, how they gotta present themselves, uh, like if they, if he catches them and they don't have like the nails painted and their toenails trimmed and shit, he, uh, I guess, um, he does something. Mushroom slaps. There you go. Um, he, he somehow does something like that. <laughs> and uh, 
you know, just different shit like that. Like if you're not wearing the perfume he likes and all that kind of stuff, you you get punished. And it's probably if you don't like being peed on, you're probably peed on. <laughs> but I mean, how does a guy with uh I mean I know he's not exactly in the spotlight anymore, but he's got a recognizable name and all that. How the fuck does he pull off running a sex call? Well, apparently he moves it quite often. Yeah, like, he'll be in a certain spot for a while, and then when they feel like there's some kind of suspicions against them, they'll pack everything up and leave. Oh, apparently his net worth is $40 million. Seems like it should be... I don't know why, but it feels like that's a little on the low end. Yeah, I mean, he, he, was, he was pretty big for a while. Yeah. If that's even the current net uh, worth... I mean, you got to assume that's going to take a nice big plunge over the next little while. But, uh, I mean, then you look at what he's gotten away with before, and it, it brings that into question. I guess this was before the divorce. Um, he was worth $150 million. He's 51 years old. And still fucking around with 15-year-olds. Yeah. He started that shit when he was 27. That's yeah, that's a lot of years of uh, getting away mm. with with that. Yes, it yeah. is over twenty four fucking years. Mm hmm. Literally fucking years. See, you don't hear shit like that about somebody like even Nelly. You know what I mean? Like Nelly's kind of fallen off the map, right? He's he's living out his uh, millionaire life, not getting in trouble every couple of weeks. No, because he was smart. He made his fucking money and he backed out. Yeah. Then didn't rape a bunch of kids. Exactly. Wasn't there also some kind of allegations of uh, Usher spreading STDs a couple of, like maybe a, two years ago or so? Hmm. Like there was a guy that came forward and some fat lady and they both said that Usher gave them something. Yeah, it was probably frivolous. I think it was because the girl that was claiming the big fat fucking <laughs> potato bitch. Uh, apparently the night that she said that they had sex, she wasn't even at his concert. Well, oh. stop being a whore and that won't be a problem. And her story was that he handpicked her out of the crowd. <laughs> wow. And then yeah. gave her herpes. The article I found is uh, three accusers to file suit against Usher for failing to disclose alleged STD. Mm-hmm. Supposedly. But Supposedly. I'm pretty sure the, the lady, her her lawsuit fell uh, fell apart. Like, if you just look up uh, Usher S STD, you'll see the chick I'm talking about. She's in a video that comes up on Google. Big, big lady there. He Holy yeah, fuck. I, I don't believe it. Yeah, but she's like, he handpicked me out of the crowd. Well, maybe Usher's just the fucking fat chaser. Who cares? But still, <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, he gave me an STD. What do you expect to accomplish? He probably didn't even fuck her. He probably just got into one of the fat folds. Oh, this title says that she didn't assume an STD risk. Really? <laughs> Oh my god. If you're fucking a celebrity, there's uh, probably a chance you might catch something. And then you have here Usher's $20 million gentle little herpes lawsuit dismissed. There I mean, we go. You're, you're basically just... going out there at that point to tell everybody, hey, I've got herpes. <laughs> that That's all she accomplished. Are you sure it wasn't just another man who claimed he was Usher? <laughs> Most likely. You can pull some shit like, hey, come here, let me smell your pussy. I want to see if it smells like his dick. <laughs> let me smell your dick. Yeah, I was going to say, there's some music for you. That's a song. <laughs> Fucking, you ever heard that shit, Shrevel? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Uh, that that was the one where she thinks her boyfriend's cheating, so she wants to 
Uh-huh. What's the smell of his dick? Man, I feel Order. bad for uh, for the chick in that music video who had to play the chick who had the pussy stank bad enough that hours later it was uh, still on the dick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the bitching witch asked us if we covered the fact that he married Aaliyah when she was 14. That's how she put it when she asked the question. I think we did, right? Yeah. He married Aaliyah. When, yeah. Yeah, I brought that up that it fucking started back in like 94 when he married her. And the shit that I found said that Aaliyah was 15. 15 or 14. I don't give a shit. That still doesn't really make up. a difference well, at that point. It, she falsely listed her age on the marriage license. Mm hmm. So it, was so it wasn't her even a official marriage then correct mm -hmm. it doesn't change the fact that the motherfucker thought he was marrying a child yeah i mean he was marrying a child but you know a uh, year's difference fuck it uh again i don't get how the fuck he continues to get away with this shit uh, i mean the marriage thing uh, you can chalk it down to shitty laws uh shitty parents all that, uh, but I mean the child porn thing. Uh, that that's a big one. That is a big charge. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It says that two is, women. That, that is mandatory prison use. time. I'm fairly sure. Right, it should be. No, I'm There's pretty sure it is. To die at this point, they're like he's already fifty. You can't make it too many more years. Maybe another thirty. Who knows. Yeah, it says uh, two women come forward about alleged abuse relationship, abusive relationships with R. Kelly as hashtag mute R. Kelly. Uh, it's the news. Hmm. It doesn't even look like it says how old they were when that relationship started. But it's a uh, NBC News article, so they're probably going to hide that kind of shit. Uh... Oh, it says here, he reportedly wed R&B singer and actress Aaliyah in 1994 when she was just 15 and widely described as his protege. The marriage was apparently later annulled and he was later accused of child pornography after a videotape circulated that appeared to show him having sex with and urinating on a teenage girl. Yep, that was he was acquitted one. of all charges in 2008. How? The oh, the no. video exists. That that much was proven. Uh -huh. uh, the girl mm -hmm. in the video is underage. Yeah. And they had the video. And, you know, I remember there being jokes on TV all the time about people fucking seeing it just to make sure it was him. Kind of makes you wonder about them now, you know? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's a whole different thing. But, I mean, the, the oh, yeah. proof was all there. How the fuck did he manage an acquittal? No idea. But apparently his lawyer is referring to this as a public lynching. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what, man? You're a fucking pedophile. I, I would advocate for a public lynching at this point. I'm not saying uh, anybody do that. I'm just saying I wouldn't be sad if it happened. Like this just in. R. Kelly found hung from a tree due to a fan of a show on YouTube called The Cunstream. Exactly. I don't want to be implicated in his murder when fucking uh, Wolfie here snaps and, you know, takes out they a fucking up. beaten stick. You know, they fuck up and all of a sudden, you know, suddenly Pickle is the guy who runs the channel. <laughs> hey, he's been in charge the whole time, officer. Yep. The yep. rest of us were telling him, don't say that, don't do that, but he, he, he went with it. You shouldn't have said that while dressed up as an ape with a hat and a cigar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Damn, Damn I knew I should have worn my like special that, costume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Outlaws, yeah. just, uh, shove your cock in a burrito. Pussy I smoke mean, on. It, it's one thing to get accused once maybe twice you know randomly you know it's another to be repeatedly accused of this shit over and over and over mm -hmm. i mean oh you, could, you could take, you could take the stance and i'm sure this is the stance or at least part of the stance his lawyers took as uh more and more cases have come out 
That's yeah, a great example. Maybe, you got to see this. Fucking... Maybe people have uh, seen the first thing, uh, the Aaliyah thing or uh, the, the piss thing, one of the early things. And then they're, they're trying to use that to their advantage against him. What Schmeckle, the fuck? Look at this article. Just, just. Oh, R. Kelly's alleged sex cult to be the subject of a lifetime movie and docu series. Because Life, you know, Lifetime. That's the channel that makes uh, like daytime television for for ladies, stay-at-home moms, right? Yep. Yeah. How do you mean, make this story romantic? I have no idea, but uh, yeah, they did. They did it with. Uh, they did it with Fifty Shades of Grey. They the made project. women into getting hit. Maybe right. now they'll make uh, they'll make fifteen-year-olds into this getting pissed on. I mean, who? Would... Yeah. So who's the target audience here? The projects will be a part of Lifetime Stop Violence Against Women initiative. They're, they're glorifying it, though. Yeah, they are. Uh, fuck Lifetime. I don't... I mean, obviously, I, I don't fucking watch that shit. But, like, my mom watches Lifetime all the time, and I, I, I tell her all the time, I'm like, they can't make a single movie on that damn network without there being either a rape or a murder... Or something like that. That every fucking movie. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> like, oh, this is the one where the lady gets raped and then kills somebody, right? And it's like, yep, ninety percent hit ratio. It's all about like fucking empowering women, and you know, they overcame odds and diversity and blah 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 blah. So with that being said, of course they're gonna fucking make some movie or document about it because it's gonna be like, but look at how these women lifted up after this horrible tragedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or how R. Kelly recovered from the horrible tragedy that is his face. His, his you know, lifestyle. He was the... Oh, and this one it says that he was accused of sexually abusing a girl since she was the age fourteen. Yeah, this is a different one. For how yeah. long? Like, does, does he just have to figure that out? Like, this cult does it have like long term sex slaves? Like, what's he? What's he doing? Oh, here? apparently there's a BBC three documentary called R. Kelly: Sex, Girls, and Videotapes. Wow. All right, then. Well, when he, uh, he did these things, I don't blame him for reporting on them. She's 34 now, the, the girl, and it says that they were dating for two years from 2011 onwards, and she says she was groomed by him and forced to have sex with him and others at least 10 times in a sex dungeon. Well, like, that's, that's not good. You can't be having forced mm -hmm. sex dungeons. Well, if that's correct, then she was with him from the time she was 14 to the time she was 16. Or, well, it says she dated him for two years. Yeah, and she was 14 when they started dating. And this was in 2011. This is, uh, ugh. Anytime somebody says sex dungeon, it always makes my mind fucking wander. Like, I wonder what they got in there. Oh, she says, I was introduced to one of the girls that he told me he quote unquote trained since she was 14. Those were his words. I saw that she was dressed like me, that she was saying the things I'd say and her mannerisms were like mine. That's when it clicked in my head that he had been grooming me to become one of his pets he calls them his pets. That's what she says. Yeah. And so instead of having dogs, he has... Sex slaves. All right. I, mean, I, I guess at least they're not dogs and sex slaves at the same time. Like Whatever. This uh, is there's got to be some silver lining. This girl says... Uh, Kelly made the unnamed woman crawl on the floor towards me and perform oral sex on me. And he said, this is my fucking pet. I trained her. She's going to teach you how to be with me. Yeah. 
Uh, I don't want to read any more of this. Get Opal. Yeah, the, this is uh, the, the, this is starting to remind me of that other stream. Somebody That's invite Opal. Somebody That's invite Opal. She'll be better at reading this shit. Uh, this time she's going to play the part of R. Kelly, I guess. No. Oh, Opal yeah. probably doesn't even know who R. Kelly is. Probably not. Agreed. Yeah, see, okay, now this one says in 2008, Kelly was found not guilty, okay, of child pornography charges after he was accused of filming a pornographic sexual encounters with a 14-year-old girl. He has reportedly made out-of-court settlements with various others, uh, or other women, including in 1996, Tiffany Hawkins, who said she had sexual relationships, I mean, a sexual relationship, <laughs> with him for three years from the age of 15. So it's like he, he waits till they're either 16 or 17 and then just gets rid of them. Fucking wow. Uh, disgusting. You guys okay? You're not throwing up or anything, right? Pickles muted. I may have been. Stop muting yourself to fap. This isn't the right time. Never. Just scrolling through this thing, checking out these weird fucking comments. Uh, she says, I was slapped, I was choked, and I was spit on by R. Kelly, who also reportedly had her dress up like a, sc dr dress up like a schoolgirl and call him daddy. <sighs> See, it's one thing like, okay, if the girl's of age and like that's what she's fucking into, yeah, like, yeah. All right, cool, whatever. But like, when they're fucking 15, you're grooming them and like you're fucking forcing them. Like, how is this dude not in fucking jail? I just don't get it. Yeah. Oh, it says uh, Kelly's ex manager Rocky Bivens, stated that he was actually at the secret wedding ceremony between the singer and fellow R&B star Aaliyah, who was 15 years old at the time. Kelly has in the past denied the marriage. How can you deny something that there's public fucking record of? Yeah. Well, because he's not one of those people uh, that's working with reality right now. Obviously. He's one of those people who's done a lot of bad things and has to lie about them. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, he knows damn well that everybody else knows he did this. But also, he can't admit to it. Yeah, uh, this chick uh, they're referring to as Jones says Kelly was very abusive physically, mentally, verbally, and I think he gets some sort of sick satisfaction within himself knowing that he's taking control over other people. Hi, Sarah. Oh no! He didn't invite. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't want to ever be included with this stuff, lady. Anyways, she's not relevant enough to mention anymore. Just uh, beyond what I said. Uh, did you hear the part I said uh, about her getting this chick saying that uh, he slapped her and choked her and shit? Yeah. yeah. That, uh, uh, there's got to be a lot of shit here that they weren't able to prove for some reason. Uh, wow, uh, she says he would start kicking me and telling me I was a stupid bitch and don't ever get in his business. Wait, 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 wait you're, you're talking the current case. Uh, yeah, uh, no, uh, apparently this is from 2017. Okay, this is the older one. Yeah, uh, there had to have been a lot of shit there that they just couldn't. Crew. Well, a lot of it is accusations, but I mean, but uh, the, there are certain things that they can prove, right? Like, like the fucking video. Yeah, I was gonna say when you have video from or over, how do you get acquitted over actual one hundred percent real proven stuff? And the fifteen witnesses that said the the jury said, oh, they couldn't definitely prove that it was. I was going to say, like, it may have been where, like, he didn't show his face. So all they saw was, you know, a dick fucking pissing on somebody or whatever the fucking case may be. And uh, them go, well, 
it's not all that clear, blah, 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 and then fucking get a few shekels on the side for Mark Kelly's managers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess it, they get a little nudge, right? Like, yeah, you, mm-hmm. you can't see his face, right? When you would it's, it's, it's too, uh, Sarah in the chat saying uh, they said it was too grainy. So yeah, oh, I, I, I could see good. maybe uh, a Wait, couple bucks pushing them in that direction. They arrest guys all the time over fucking um, like liquor store camera videotape. That's horrible. Yeah. But they arrest people over it all the time. What the yes. fuck makes that any different? It's because it's R. Kelly, and he had the money, money, and probably very, very prominent people behind him, you know? Exactly. Yeah, he... Yeah. He's almost definitely done these things. Uh, almost. But, you know... <laughs> what? Well, I no, mean... It's 100%. It, it's cool. not 100%. Like, the 100% is... struggle. <laughs> yeah, it... it, it, it it's a hundred percent as far as reality goes, but you know, uh, I could see there being reasonable doubt in some of these cases. I can't believe With, he's getting a fucking movie in a TV series. Anyway, yeah, the, the, he won't be making a buck off of it. Uh, if it turns out any of this is true, right. uh, the, you guys have, I think across the board laws against, uh, making profit off your crimes. Yeah. Uh, I believe so. I mean, he for for the fucking video. It just even if it's not a hundred, it's ninety nine percent, right? Right. And I mean, he has a <clears throat> history of all pulling this uh, to the point where it's like ninety nine point nine, right? Right. Oh, yeah. Here's just, a here's a quote for you, Schmeckel, from the two girls who came forward. We were required to call him daddy. You would address him as daddy. If you didn't, you would get in trouble or slapped. Of course, he wanted the 15-year-olds he was fucking to call him daddy. Mm-hmm. Well, within the cult, they were actually, I guess, 18 and up. But Okay, the, the cult was all adults. Well, that's uh, better, yeah. I guess. But even with that, you gotta wonder, was he trying to groom these people before... They were of, you know, the legal age. That's what I've heard is that a lot if of you're were... in a cult at 18, you've probably been groomed for a little while before that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, mo- most people don't turn 18 and then go, uh, hey, uh, might as well go uh, find a cult. Uh, I heard R. Kelly uh, is, is signing people up. You would have to, she says, you would have to send a text message to one of his runners just asking if you could go to the restroom and they would relay the information to him. You weren't uh, free to walk throughout the house. Well, and the fucked up thing with a lot of the cases of like sexual abuse when it comes to older people it with minors, a lot of the times the older individual was sexually abused as a kid. And I looked up. R. Kelly opens up about being sexually abused when he was a child. So, mm-hmm. like, how about instead of fucking repeating the cycle, you unfuck yourself and Go you to therapy. Help. Yeah. yeah, work work on it. Do something. Uh, I'm sure there's something you can do. I, mean, I know Schmeckel was raped by Tila Tequila when he was just a young lad. And he's yeah, not out there from the sex uh, cult. No, I avoided all the sex cults. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't join any, didn't start any. Uh, I mean, uh, for a little while, I was in uh, a cult, but it was one of the suicide moon cults, not a sex one. Right. Not deranged. You found out suicide just didn't work on you. No, I am unfortunately immortal. Um, terrible, terrible. How I'm going to outlive you all. I'll have to watch you grow old and die. Except hey, for well, you, dude, Trippy, uh, you probably won't grow old. I had a really weird day the other day. I died seven fucking times. I just kept coming back. None of it was suicide. It was just a lot of. It was just a fully accident-prone day all day. Lots of sugar. Yeah, that too. Oh, could you imagine being an immortal diabetic? That'd be fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, you just 
spearhead. That's the risk you run with with any type of immortality. Eventually, you either get stuck in something you can't get out of, or uh, you get broken down to, to like, pieces. Mm-hmm. Yep, found a BuzzFeed article. A woman who says she had underage sex with R. Kelly is finally telling her story. Oh, boy. Wait, yeah, she had underage sex with him, like, when he was a child? <laughs> no, it says in 2008 she was a 15-year-old uh, sophomore. It's always 15! Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, he's got a fucking number. Okay, it says... Uh, I'll get you 20. R. Kelly's trial on 14 counts of making child pornography is when, like, around the time that she met him, I guess. Hey, I heard you do child porn. Want to date? Oh, she cut school every day when when he was, you know, when the trial was going, just to go to the trial and like chant for him. Well, and you gotta wonder, okay, of the cases that we fucking could read about and know about, how many of them have fucking gag orders on them or have some sort of settlement where it's like a do not discuss, do not disclose, something like that. Mm. Well, and that's uh, some of, of these women that have come forward have, have had suits against them because they broke NDAs. Yeah, it, it says uh, when she was 16, she became one of many women traumatized by a sexual relationship with Kelly. Okay, so she didn't get in there till she was 16. Apparently, he was like, one more year, baby. Uh, it says that she was 16 after the trial ended. Apparently, she accepted a few cash settlements from him. <laughs> and she signed a lot of non-disclosure agreements. Well. Maybe he thought he'd die by now. <laughs> like, the, the non-disclosure didn't cover this year, you know? He's probably out there like, hey, one of these days a father's gonna hang me or kill me or shoot me or... Something. Wait, did you just say as a child she had a relationship with him and then she signed a non disclosure agreement? Uh for, for their relationship? Uh let me let me hold on a second. Uh it says her detailed and well documented story of of accepting cash settlements from the star in return for signing non disclosure agreements, which is not yet been previously reported illustrates how Kelly has been able to silence young women he is allegedly wronged. So yeah, I'm guessing that beforehand instead of instead of having her like sign a consent form, he was like, here you go, sign this non disclosure agreement. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, and here's some money. Um, yeah. Because he gave her cash settlements along with her, like he basically paid her to sign non disclosure agreements. I don't think those would hold up in court considering what the, the nature of uh, what they're keeping silent about is. Right. Uh, I mean, at that point, who really gives a fuck if he can sue you for opening your mouth about him, you know? Well, and, and isn't it, you know, creepy enough, you know, that he's having them sign NDAs? Right. Well, it's creepy enough, but you know, uh, hypothetically, this girl comes out and she's like, "Yeah, guess what? I was fucking 15 years old, and uh, R. Kelly raped me. Uh, I have a non-disclosure agreement. R. Kelly, you are free to sue me if you'd like. R. Kelly is now a man facing a rape accusation, uh, a statutory rape accusation." Uh, He's going to destroy himself in the public eye if he decides to sue that girl and loses the case. Yep. Like, there's going to be no uh, getting out of it that time if if he goes that route. Mm -hmm. It's going to become something that is <clears throat> very public and it's going to be, become something that a lot of people will push for him to be imprisoned for. 
So yeah, it, you know, it might be the smart idea for her to break that NDA. Yeah, I would think it would be a smart idea. And like, how do you have to be a certain age to sign a non-disclosure? Like, don't I'm you? Sure, I'm sure you probably do. And well, it probably varies state by state as well. I would imagine. Anyway, most shit seems to. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how your laws work. I don't think we have NDAs here. I might be wrong. Right. Yeah, we do have NDA, not NDAs. Uh, we do have like uh, publication uh, limitations and shit like that for high-profile cases. But I, I don't know if we have uh, legally upheld NDAs. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, that might be the route for her to go. She could, uh, she could potentially destroy this guy. She could end up just pissing into the wind, but uh, <laughs> pissing. <laughs> uh, but I mean, she's, no harm's gonna come to her. Right. I highly doubt it. Yeah, worst case scenario. Um, of course, this is if she's telling the truth. Oh, um, yeah, Ga Gal Rock, Galork, Galork, Bear Son. Sorry, Galork. Uh, it says minors can't sign legal document documents, and NDAs do not cover illegal acts. Exactly. Yeah, I, I would have thought so. I would hope fucking so. Yeah, it'd be like, hey, sign this non-disclosure agreement. I'm gonna rape you. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 you, right. you fucking rape the girl and then while she's uh, still fucking shaking afterwards you're like and you better fucking sign this although yeah. I, I, I think you guys do have something against uh, contracts made under duress as well but yeah that too yeah. we do yeah. it, it, I'm sure you guys like do he wouldn't be able to use to his advantage it could only be used against him mm -hmm. if it can be proven to be true yeah. For all we know, this chick is lying. Yeah, possibly. I mean, how do you prove it though? Like, even with the whole Me Too movement, how do you prove that somebody uh, sexually assaulted you fifteen, twenty, five, seven, you know, one year ago? How do you really prove that? Well, like, obviously, he likes police? to videotape it. So, well, first well, of all, yeah, that is one. You know, First of all, there. they're fucking morons because with the hashtag, like it. Okay, it's not hashtag. Hashtag. God damn it. Hashtag. It's a pound sign. All right. So you're saying pound me too, you fucking morons. Not only that, like if you're gonna bring it up, fifteen, sixteen, maybe twenty years later, go. Well, this happened. I I understand some people might be embarrassed or feel ashamed to come forward about it but the only way that to stop the shit is to come forward with it because when fucking people don't come forward you have people like mattress girl and that whole duke uh lacrosse fucking team who got utterly fucked over because some bitch wanted to say that she got fucking raped by a bunch of dudes which turned out not to be fucking true and now these dudes' lives are fucking ruined because anytime that they their name comes up, it'll show that they had these fucking accusations and shit. Right. Let's see, and you know, there's uh, another angle to that too. Uh, if you get raped, uh, nobody can blame you for not coming forward uh, immediately or at all. But it is incredibly selfish not to mm -hmm. uh never mind all the uh potential it gives to people uh who are gonna fake shit uh Rape. it keeps your rapist out there mm -hmm. he's raped once at least uh but you're allowing him to stay out there and do it again Yes, and, and I will say this too for any ladies who are in the chat or are watching this later on down the road. You know what will always stop a rapist? A fucking gun and shoot it in that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, or a knife, a heavy, blunt object. 
knowing how to actually defend yourself if it comes down to just using your your fucking moves, you know? That can be a big part of it as well. I mean, shit. Take some karate classes. Don't let Fu- these jackasses pee on you. No, oh. l- look at jujitsu instead of karate. Karate is nice. Yeah. 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 But jujitsu will give you the fucking skills when somebody's on top of you. You could fucking work ways where you either get them off your body, you could fucking possibly break arms, you could fucking flip around, put them in a goddamn chokehold. So, mm-hmm. oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I, I can't really give any advice on uh, how to defend yourself from a, from a rapist. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, basic advice, learn how to do so. Mm-hmm. Learn how to defend yourself on a basic level. Now, I'm not saying uh, uh, be prepared for if some karate master jumps out of the fucking uh, alley to <laughs> fucking, rape you. Fucking ninjas. No, you, if, ninjas. If, you're, if, you're getting, <laughs> if you're getting raped by ninjas, you're getting raped by ninjas. <laughs> it's just going to happen. That's a pretty cool way to die. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, uh, you, you should try to to be able to defend yourself from uh, uh, your average person. Brought to you by the country. And yeah. b- b- before anyone tries to call that uh, blaming women, no, it's just putting some of the responsibility for their own well-being on them. Oh, you got to be ready to, uh, to protect yourself from bad people or, or fucking wild animals or what, uh, whatever happens in your part of the world. And just like I tell my daughters, a restraining order is just a piece of paper. You have to have the means to defend yourself, whether they're bigger than you, smaller than you, whatever the threat is. You need to have the means, armed or disarmed, to take that threat down and to get away from the situation. If he's going to rape you or hurt you, uh, he's already accepted that he's going to be committing those crimes. He's not going to care about the restraining order. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we, we should have spoken with our Kelly's uh, young associates before this. Uh, we could have saved a lot of trouble, a lot of mess. <laughs> it's it's too bad that uh, I don't have any of them followed on Twitter. You know, it will probably because probably they're all like fifteen. And, you know. Well, no, I mean, I'm pretty sure most of them are of adult age at this point. Yeah, I guess they're all grown ups now. Yeah. What? Uh, I'm taking it that you looked at the chat by now, Schmeckle, and... <laughs> uh, the, the fuck am I... Uh, brought, Annie, I uh, up- Annie and Sarah are... Uh, thing and- it, you know, we have, uh, I think, covered all the R. Kelly that I any of us... We're good. Uh, uh, how, how would you like a chick fight? Chick That'd fight, awesome. chick fight. I've never talked to Annie before. I'd like to. She seems like a really cool lady. Sarah, Annie... Uh, if you'd both like in, uh, you could settle this uh, live and ladylike. Yeah, and I'll mute myself. I won't even bring up none of the stuff between me and a certain person. Yeah, Annie, we won't even talk none about how Trippy Poop don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight. Uh, Annie says she can't fight. Well, you can at least come in and discuss in a loud manner. <laughs> Yes, have a civil discussion with very loud voices. How about that? Yeah. No, come on. I I think Annie could take Sarah. I think so too. I, I mean, Annie might not be any like uh, verbal rape ninja, but she's uh, <laughs> probably a little better at arguing than Sarah. Uh, can, uh, Annie's not from the south. I don't think. Can we I all agree? Wouldn't. Rape ninja is now a thing. No, yeah, rape ninjas. You got to look out for them. <laughs> I mean, there, there's nothing you can do if they find you, but yeah, uh, still be aware. They're out there. Uh, Annie <laughs> says that she's not home and she doesn't have to prove medications cause tooth loss. Is that really what they're arguing about? Yeah, that's yeah. what they're arguing about because it's something that came out of my mouth and Sarah's always got a problem with that kind of shit. So, uh, what would happen if I just spit in Sarah's face? Would she argue with the spit? Who knows? 
Well, it did come out of your mouth, so that's what I'm saying. Let's find out. By the way, do you guys notice I have uh, uh, changed my avatar slightly? No. He doesn't have lines in his teeth anymore. I, I, I took out the, the mess of lines that I had in there. Yeah, now you got pearly yellows. Yeah. I, w I wasn't aware you did your own art. Yeah. I, Why the fuck don't I have you doing thumbnails? Because I'm not. I Look, we've been over this, damn it. You guys, uh, uh, fucking, what's that one thing? Um, Opal uh, told me about that, that app that you could use on your phone to draw. And I'm a six foot one male. Uh, my hands are way too big to be trying to draw on my phone. <laughs> Man, you don't need to do it on your phone. Just do it the way you did that thing. Slowly, over four days. Oh, shit, you know some all shit. <laughs> Schmeckle, if you want thumbnails oh. and shit, I could hook you up. I made a thumbnail for Trippy. Yeah. Man, I, I, I am it. always looking to take on artists. Artists are a valuable commodity. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if Ace would call himself an artist, but he did a very good job. No, yes. I don't I don't consider myself an artist. I'm just somebody who fucks around. I'm like, ah, yeah, that looks cool. Fuck it. Yeah, I can uh I can show it if you want to see what he did. Sure, pull it up. Uh, Ace, if you're any good, I'll send you all the all the shitty thumbnails that I need replaced. Okay. I, uh, I got a bunch of generic ones that I use for streams, and they're all garbage that I've made in like 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, which reminds me, I got to make a... Uh, actually, I'll skip that part. Just uh, you make a thumbnail for tonight's stream. That's uh, the thumbnail that um, Ace made for the Trippy Cast. The Trippy Cast. Definitely better than I would have done. At least tonight, eh? You gotta send me a link or something to those two different programs you said you used so I could try them out at least once. Okay. It's just really fucking hard drawing on a, uh, either with with your um, mouse pad on your laptop or an actual mouse. It's still just a bitch. That's why uh, it takes no, me so long. No, we, uh, we do have an update from Sarah. She says that uh, she would knock you the fuck out if you spit in her face. Aww. You don't have to treat me so nice, Sarah. It'd make him a little hard, Sarah. Like, only a half chub, because... Uh, I mean, look at you. But it, it's a little hard. He's into that. Well, she also said, he's saying pills alone cause it. There's more to it. Well, yeah. There's obviously more to it. <laughs> All she it, said, you know what? If somebody pull in, Sarah, we'll, we'll have the stupid fucking drug teeth argument. Oh, Send her a goddamn link, Trippy. I can't. She blocked me. <laughs> yeah. Or Ace or Pickle or whoever's capable of contacting her. Yeah, well, not I only that, but she blocked me on YouTube as well. Like, uh, from her channel or whatever. <laughs> she could tell us all about that whole Discord situation if she yeah. wants. Actually, that would be interesting. I would like to to hear about your, your problems with, uh, with Gulf City. And like I've said before, I don't think she doxed anybody from what she says. Oh, yeah. And I, I, for, I forgot there was uh, there was some doxing shit. Yeah, supposedly. But I, I, I don't know because I haven't heard anything from the other half of the story. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can do this. I'm not sure if she's uh, got me blocked. Nah, you've got more than like 80 subs. I'm sure she needs the more relevant people to, uh, you know, bring her on their channels and stuff. By the way, sub to the uh, sub to Trippy Poop because that guy's that guy is beautiful. He's a yeah, I think Samaj, but skinny. Yeah, yeah, all that. Almost passable. Almost passable when I wear my skirt. Oh. I am not blocked. There we go. Sari, you got a link if you would like to explain. She said, I'm not coming All of on. the bullshit we've heard. Oh, Sarah, <laughs> Sarah, don't break my heart, Sarah. You want me to leave? I'll leave for her to come in if that's what she wants. Uh, she says she learned her lesson with us guys. Well, uh, Sarah, to be fair, only three of us were there last time. Pickle's innocent. He is. Motherfucker, I'm innocent too. Yeah, and I'm... Ace is a veteran. You respect him. <laughs> hey, hey, oh. hey. Okay, don't forget, Schmeckel, that Sarah is also uh, apparently a patriot, uh, a patriot, and a uh, national treasure. 
I think. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ace, ace, ace. What's up? All you got to do is phrase it as an order. Use your military voice. Do it. Ah, motherfucker. That's all you got? No, motherfucker. <laughs> he's got to prep himself. It's been a while since he's been, you know, out there. <laughs> Sir, if you don't get your goddamn ass in here and unfuck this shit right now, nobody will have respect for you in your YouTube career for the rest of your fucking life. You need to come in here, tell us what's up, and stop being such a fucking ate up goddamn soup sandwich. There you go. You need and, a soggy and bitch. Other things as well, stuff. Words. I think the chat enjoyed that, by the way. Chat mm. hasn't heard that yet. Oh. Well, we got a delay, Trippy. Son of a fuck. <laughs> They're at least hearing some of it because Moxley's in there like, sir, yes, sir. Oh, she says, no, I'm good. <laughs> uh, Sarah is disrespecting the veteran. Sarah Hatchaby Sanders, why the fuck must you disrespect a man who has fought for your freedom? God damn, I think uh, Schmeckel has more respect for me than uh, Sarah. Look at that. Yeah, but his people <laughs> burned down our White House at some point in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys had it coming. You started that goddamn war. Yeah, see, like Malevolent said, we know you're not a doxer, but this isn't helping. I mean, you got to talk about it at some point, unless it's all been squared up. Has it all been squared up, Sarah? Yes, Sarah, we'll come in here, we'll square it all up, we'll all hold hands, we'll sing kumbaya, oh, maybe, maybe we'll cuddle. I got a nice fucking water bed, uh, it, it'll fit the five of us. Oh, schmeckle has got that water We don't have bed. to be dirty, we, we can just be in love. You got that water bed and them lava lamps and shit? Oh uh, yeah, I'm prepared, I've been waiting for Sarah. Nice. That'll remind her of her youth. Well, what she calls her youth. Brick had the Barry Manilow, some scented candles. Uh, oh, so Ray, uh, you're saying that Demon and, and this other person told her not to talk about it anymore. So are you trying to say that she does do what it. other men tell her, what men tell her to do online and doesn't she'll do question it? On it? Her channel. She can't do it at all on her own? Like anybody's watching her channel. It's probably less people than watch my net. No, never mind. She's got more views than me. <laughs> now, uh, Sarah says uh, I don't need any of your help and that, that breaks my heart Sarah all I want to be is I told you she the, was a liar the one, the one that's there for you Sarah mm -hmm. well, when you're sick I want to hold your hair for you uh, when you sit down to dinner I'll pull out your chair for you if you ever go bald I'll donate my hair for you Oh. That's how much I love you, Sarah. The fuck in here. Your raps have a lot of 90s influence. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> uh, you guys continue convincing her. I'm going to go have uh, a pre-coitus uh, smoke. Okay. You, you got to like how she, she uses her grammar here. It says, I can talk it about it if because I'm not all done. That makes so much sense. Yeah. It, is she I, having an aneurysm? Or did she have an aneurysm? Is she going through a seizure right now? Is she typing with her tongue? <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? You, as Sarah just said, I w wouldn't want to piss on me if I was on fire. Well, first of all, it's going to be we hard all to piss on, piss on yourself. <laughs> Secondly, I I'm sure you could talk to R. Kelly. He might hook you up. That's true. Eric Kelly would probably be down for that shit. He wouldn't fuck you afterwards because you were just on fire. So that part's probably out, but it'll definitely wet your whistle. Well, and you know the whole age thing. Right. He's about, uh, she's about what, like 53 years too old for him? <sighs> yeah. 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 Uh, apparently, she just doesn't want to talk about it to anybody, whether it's, you know, publicly, privately, 
live, not live, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So what she's trying to say is she can't keep up with her lies. Right. And she's now saying black men are not my preference. I don't think it matters when it comes to you, Sarah. You should probably take what you can get. It's a fucking joke, woman. Just get fucking comedy or humor. Yeah. Or... I'd like to see her attempt to meme without somebody else like, you know, doing it for her and her claiming it as her own. I'd like to see her attempt to apply makeup. Yeah. I'd like to without see her, her attempt ending to up looking like my avatar at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently she's, you know, a national treasure and an American success story, if you remember what uh, Zero Credibility said, because, you know, he has all the credibility, apparently. He knew what he was doing. Only Sarah didn't know what he was doing. doing. Yeah, she doesn't know. I mean, shit, she's so easy to troll. I don't even have to attempt it. She just trolls herself. She says she doesn't need help with her fucking battles, especially from us guys. Sarah, you will soon learn that I am the one guy that can solve all your problems. So, Sarah, are we to believe that you don't need us to help you look stupid? I wouldn't say that's a battle for her. It's kind of like walking gently downhill. No, trust me. She doesn't need us to make her look stupid. She's doing it all on her own just fine. She's got that handled. Uh, you ever need it? You, you got the Constrim here offering you uh, to give you that healing. That sexual, sexual healing. I'm going to bone her. She looks old enough. Yeah, I know you like I'm old and fat, but is she fat enough? No, we we, we can uh we can feed her a little bit. Okay. You're not mu you're not Muslim, right, Sarah? Yeah, because uh, bacon's the quick way to do it. You like them big enough to where you flick them in their left ass cheek and their right tit jiggles. See, About like Trippy knows me so well. Yeah. <sighs> As Sarah says, I can't even solve my own problems. What well, makes me think I can solve hers? Well, Sarah, I can't name a problem I got right now. Uh, unless you count uh trippy thing, but yeah. that that's that's a whole separate thing. Yours are easy to solve problems. <laughs> well, uh, Trippy, I've been seeing you in chats uh, flirting with other people. Oh, no. Last night I was telling people on Discord that by being on the country, I get paid in uh, exposure, and that means that Schmeckel exposes himself to me each stream. Yep. Okay, as long as you're honest about the nature yeah. of our relationship. Exactly. You fucking uh, cheating <laughs> whore. <laughs> the Malevolent Rider says, Sarah, the only problem he has is weed. Malevolent Rider, I got plenty of weed right now. No problem there. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, the problem being you just can't get enough. But you, yeah, you got it. I, I just over there basking in glory because we've mentioned her name on stream, so she's probably well, came a few times. I find it fucking cute how she sits there and goes, "I don't need their help." Blah blah blah. Like, bitch, fucking, I tried to fucking have you hash your shit out with Trippy, but you proved yourself to be a fool. I even told you multiple times I would be on your side if you could produce evidence of these fucking things that you're saying, but nope. Just trying to be a fucking cunty cunt who fucking sits there and talks over people. Yep. See, I all I wanted here is whether or not she docks somebody. Uh, why she's uh, threatening Trippy with legal action? Uh, I just want to clear up the uh, the big accusations here, uh, both uh, toward and from you. Well, and if you're not gonna come on the fucking stream and say it, at least say it in the chat. You could say all this other fucking shit, but you you can't fucking explain yourself in the goddamn chat. Oh wait, no, you don't have to, and you don't need anybody's help. <laughs> she says, I watched the cunt stream before you guys even came on here. That's, uh, 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 Sarah, that, fine. <laughs> these guys have been here maybe uh, two of them are new and Trippy's been here like a month. Yeah. It, it's not uh, It's not hard to have been here before them. This is true. Uh, yeah, you weren't here before me. I know that much. <laughs> 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 oh, with the shit that comes out of her mouth, I'm surprised she didn't say that. 
You know, actually, <laughs> Sarah, if you can prove that uh, that you were watching the con stream before I was a part of it, then yeah, I, I'll be fully on no. your side. At least she didn't say that. That's all I'm saying. You know. Oh, that's fucking rich. She just said in chat, Ryder, keep others' names out of your mouth. When this fucking bitch wants to bring up everybody and fucking say, well, this person said that and that person said this. And like, <laughs> that's pretty fucking rich for somebody who wants to sit there and talk shit on fucking everybody. But then go, oh, I don't have to bring it up. I don't have to talk about it. Bitch, you're looking for fucking drama. You're looking for attention, and nobody gives a fuck. Get him. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, she always picks on Ryder because she thinks she can somehow win against him. Ryder is so much better of a person than you, Sarah. It's, it's because Ryder has that fucking speech impediment. Guaranteed she thinks he's retarded. Ryder's a good guy. Sarah, you're not so good of a guy. No, but that's that's why it's Ryder that uh, that she's having a go at. She thinks he's an easy fucking target. And people are rolling at what Ace was saying. It's uh. I may have started something in chat. That too. Uh, Sarah, we uh, we could help you. We're oh, certainly, ooh. well, we're certainly not going to hurt you. There's no uh. There, there, there's no show there. How uh, to deny an invitation to come on somebody's live stream to, to just prove that you didn't do anything wrong or at least address the issue. That's just rude. I mean, unless she's, you know, busy trying to figure out why she can't get her hand out of her cunt. Uh, she spent the past half hour trying to get her pants buttoned. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. I feel sorry for the surrounding objects that get killed by flying buttons. She probably has to do the seventies thing where she lays on the bed. Yeah, sit up. Zipper only goes so far. <laughs> fucking buttons smack and shit. I mean, no, it's 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 very very easy, Sarah. She just wants well, well, to. Well, 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 one, of, one of these issues don't affect me. Uh, the fucking doxing shit. I I don't give a fuck. I mean. Uh, I would certainly like to hear the story there, because if, if you're a doxer, you're kind of a piece of shit. But, uh, you know, uh, wh what was the guy's name? That Phoenix she, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Demon Hobbit. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that guy. I don't give a fuck about him. Which, uh, coincidentally, this... is the same fucking dude that was apparently backing up her story when she was in there talking shit and trippy. But All now, the that back her up are just fucking trolls she can't see through. Yeah, uh, it's it's this, uh, the, this legal action. All she that, says uh, in chat is, I'm not a doctor. We're going to need a little bit more. I'm not that. a doctor, so stay out of it. Yeah, yeah well, we'll take you at your word, Sarah. Now, what's this yeah. legal action with Trippy about? I think she's more embarrassed about that lull suit than in the... <laughs> well, no, Trippy, uh, why, why don't you explain your side? Sarah's got the link. If she'd like to come in and explain hers, she's more than welcome to. Okay. I mean, like, if anything, you know... I, I don't I like... like uh, I don't like... Uh, uh, I don't like lawsuits where uh, where my name's mentioned. Right. Well, if anything, I mean, uh, I feel like I should sue because she raped me by sending her a video of her nasty tits. Yeah, you uh, you did say they were uh, they were unpleasant. I think if you didn't like it, it's rape. Yeah. Yep. That or at least That's sexual harassment. harassment. Yeah. And, and like I said, I didn't consent for that to be sent in the first place. I just jokingly. Said, you know, send me something like I do with everybody. She's the only person that's ever sent me anything, by the way. Like, I can sit in the <laughs> chat all day and be like, hey, Kadunt, you know, send me a picture of your left tit. And, and she's not going to do it. Yeah, Trippy, no you, 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 you got to be further into the family before you get Kadunt tit. Yeah, yeah. Don't and worry. I'm just it, it's it's and they coming know it. one day. But they know it. Uh, Ani, the one that was in chat complaining, or not complaining, but arguing with Sarah a little bit there. I made a joke about <laughs> eating popcorn out of her asshole. She she never took that seriously, you know. Mm -hmm. But yet, Sarah, on the other hand, you're like, hey, Sarah, I want to see a, a video of you 
you know, shoving the Eiffel Tower in your twat. She's going to figure out how to get that done and send that video to you. No, one second. She says uh, you could have deleted it. How the uh, fuck would you know whether I did or not? But, uh, Sarah, uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, with the clear and obvious joke Trippy was just making, the whole thing hinges on you sending it, not on whether or not he could have gotten rid of it. And mm -hmm. uh, with, with this actual... Uh, lawsuit that you're suggesting uh that, <laughs> that pertains to a whole different thing and something that uh we have proof that one of your claims is false and mm -hmm. uh you have no proof that the other is yep that's just how it works you know, she, she says uh you said you never delete messages ever. You were so stupid. I believe yeah, she's um, made a claim <laughs> I was just uh, going to say that on her own channel, when she was addressing being banned from mm -hmm. the Gulf City Discord, she literally in that video says, I never delete messages ever. And when I talked to her about it, and she talked about how I supposedly asked for nudes and DMs, her excuse for not being able to find that DM for me was, oh, I must have deleted it. I delete DMs all the time. So what the fuck is it, sir? Are you just going to keep on doing this to yourself? I'm, not, that's, I'm just not understanding the, the non sequiturs here. That's what I'm saying. She says you could have deleted it. I say something about, yeah, he could have, but that's not related. And then she brings up that you said you never delete messages and that makes one of us dumb. It's like I said, she can't keep up with her goddamn fucking lies. But no, uh, still beside the point. What's up with this uh, this lawsuit? Uh, Trippy, can you can you explain the uh, the claims she's making? Oh, she thinks uh, or claims that I sent her fucking video there to some people. I don't know what people. Anyways, she's claiming that it's revenge porn. And. Uh, she also claimed that uh, uh, that you had shown it on the cunt stream. Uh, yeah, she said I showed the censored version of the picture on a live stream on the cunt stream. Which uh, no, <laughs> if, if you'd all if you'd all like to go back, uh, that stream is a five hour stream. Uh, the thumbnail has lo-fi and AP doing bonded shit. I believe it was called Sarah versus everyone. You can uh -huh. scrub through every second of that stream and not ever see that image. Despite the fact that we don't use OBS, so you're seeing the hangout. You're seeing what we were seeing. Uh -huh. And uh, YouTube tells you when a stream has been edited. So this is the full raw footage that Sarah was privy to. And that Sarah claims she saw. Uh, Sarah did see it. Uh, in which Sarah claims Trippy did this. The the full evidence that that is a lie is available. That's the type of stupid that Sarah is. <laughs> <laughs> and and can you say I want to see the fucking court document that says Sarah versus Trippy poop. The cunt stream. It will also. <laughs> I mean, would also have to be mentioned in that as well. <laughs> uh, I've already seen the cunt stream in legal documents uh, when Futter was going through his shit. Uh, if you bring up the cunt stream as a complaint, you're probably gonna you're probably gonna lose uh, your fucking case. Um, either Sarah left the chat, or she's trying to think of a comeback. So we could be here for a while. Or she had a stroke. She's getting up there in age. Mm -hmm. Be nice. She might be dead. Sarah, oh, if, if you've tried, I promise. Oh, never mind. Oh, she's alive. Oh, here, here it goes. Here it goes. There she goes. She join? You she censored goes. my oh. boobs with emojis and Mock asked you if you shared it and you laughed about it and you said I censored it with emojis so you can't see anything. Sarah, yeah. uh, you're, you're mixing up the, 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 the events there a little. Uh, <laughs> he censored your boobs with emojis. <laughs> Mark asked if he shared it. He laughed and said no, and said I just censored it with puking emojis. 
Oh, why can't? Okay, hold on. Yeah, uh, you're missing the part, uh, the, the the little part where he says, "No, I didn't share it." <laughs> Somebody who fucking Ooh. does not understand it. number one trolling, number two fucking comedy. Like, it, I don't fucking understand this woman. Well, no, she's uh fucking it took her mystery. long enough to type that shit. <laughs> Oh, man, that's, uh, you know, that's like two whole sentences. Am I? She probably had to call her grandson into the room to help her type it out. Yeah. <clears throat> How does this here darn on dang on phone work? I don't How do know. I make capitals again? <laughs> I'm surprised that, like, I'm surprised the whole thing wasn't just capitals. What are these emojis that all these young kids keep going on and on about? Yep, yep, yep. What's this hair? You know, they call it an emoji. Why is it over my titty? <laughs> oh, you know, sir, if you were to take me to court, you'd actually have to admit that those are your tits. Yeah, you, you'd have to prove that those are your tits. That too, yeah. You'd actually have to prove it. I, I doubt she actually would have to do so. Uh, mm -hmm. If she could prove either of the other things, she'd probably have you. But she can't yeah. prove those because... They didn't happen. <laughs> Do you see these blue veins here? All right, now let's refer to the picture. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you really make somebody blind just to prove that those were your tits? Now, where did the mean man on the Internet touch you? Yeah, exactly. Show right here, me. right in my feelings. Show us on the Chris Chandel. <laughs> you. Jesus Christ, I knew I'd seen that face before. Mm hmm. What face? Sarah uh, Hutch uh, Hutcher B. Chan. Whatever the fuck. What did you find? Oh, I thought you were. Never mind. No, I, I was just realizing that she kind of looks like uh, what you get when a fat man turns halfway into a woman. Ah. Chris Farley in a wig. Ah, she did more sexy than Sarah. Honestly, she didn't fully commit to the trans. No, she, she she got uh, some of the parts like halfway attached, uh, and the other parts are just not there. The uh, same basic structure as uh, as trippy poop, but uh, the height of shoe on head, it's <laughs> it's terrible. And if Sarah keeps you know dyeing her hair, she's gonna have a lot less hair. Than chew on head. Oh. Uh, you can sit there and say you didn't, Trippy, but you're a shady ass person and you did do it. Well, Sarah, Sarah, you claimed he showed it on stream. Yeah, where's the proof? For this? The proof is sitting there. Come on, if where's you the proof? Like scrub through that stream, pull up the proof. Anybody else is free to do so as well. As I've said, it is still there in unedited form in its entirety. Sarah, I've also said that I'm black from the waist down on streams. Does that make it true? Uh, the, that's the thing, though. You didn't even say you fucking shared it. All you said was right. that uh, you fucking covered the tits with puking emojis. Yeah. Womp, womp, womp. Ah. <laughs> 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 You should have seen it, Schmeckle. I mean, the pookie emoji is like two inches wide, and it's the exact same size as her nipple. Oh. Yeah. AKA a dinner That's plate. That's not good. Actually, I think it's like three and a half inches. But, you know, about the size, uh, close to the size of a CD is what I would imagine. That's not how nipples are supposed to look. Sarah. Uh -huh. That's what not how any of this Sarah? works, Sarah. What the fuck? All right, guys, I gotta... Why uh, would you cover it, period, if you wasn't going to share it? <laughs> All right, uh, Pickle. Pickle's if you go wasn't to going to share it. Bye, Pickle. Uh, have, have a, a nice night, night Pickle. Pickle. I'll try. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because... Because... <laughs> That's Be because, it. because it was funny. Well, you know, I mean, maybe because he wanted his dick to work in the next year. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't get hard for six days after you sent me that video, Sarah. I figured I might as well use that time to go ahead and censor the gross part. Well, the probably the least gross part was the nipple, to be honest. Look at it this way, figure. Sarah. Sarah, uh, you ever uh, 
Uh, you, you ever, when you were younger, see a picture of a celebrity you didn't like uh, in the newspaper and fucking cross the face out? It's like that. He doesn't like you. And he had a picture that he could laugh at. <laughs> now I got to ask you, Sarah, you ever take that newspaper with the scratched out celebrity's face and go around and show everyone and go, hey, look what I did. <laughs> no. <sighs> oh, God. That old cunt. Maybe I should just go the route that Lo-Fi said. And, uh... Oh, that's she great. didn't like the pasties you got for her, says Billy Senpai Gaming. For, for $2. $2. Nice, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> she says, oh. no, she hasn't. Well, Sarah, that's because when you were young, there wasn't a fucking newspaper. It was a trick question. Go back to carving on rocks. <laughs> it's just fucking here with like a Flintstones newspaper fucking <laughs> what's got there the Ten Commandments no this is a, a fucking a, a drawing that I did when I was in middle school we didn't have paper back then yeah but do that was a good one I probably should have muted myself. <laughs> they they looked at those fucking stone tablets uh, that she had carved uh, her picture into at uh, uh, like twelve years old, and they realized, okay, Down syndrome did exist back then. Oh, get it? Because she's retarded and old, just piling things on. Sarah had really nine eleven. She did nine eleven, and then she masturbated to the photos afterwards. See, look, that's just as much proof as you have of me having sent anything. I heard she even put puking emojis on the faces of some of the victims. Right. Or that guy that was jumping from whatever floor. Now, if you guys look, there's a there's a puky emoji on there. I don't know where she got the idea for that. Man, Blue Sarah, collar Canucks. you got to get more original with your sex crimes. Blue Collar Canucks. Ding, ding, ding. Cherry, cherry, cherry. We we would blue collar enough, but <laughs> she, she won't come on. I like Ani in there. Oh, we, we've given her the opportunity. She's got the link. She's uh, just not got the spine. Nope. Well, you know, I mean, if you were her spine and you had to hold 100 pounds of tits and then however many more pounds of fat ass, you'd probably leave too. Wait, wait, uh, Sarah Hatch B. Sanders says, uh, you're so stupid also when it comes to Ace because I wouldn't share any DMs with anything that's going on. I'm a liar. Get the fuck out. Ace, the fuck is she the talking about? Do? <laughs> and I think she's also calling you a hoe. Uh, I don't know. When it comes to Ace because I couldn't share anything. Uh, no, that, that's the point though, Sarah. If you're sitting there claiming this happened or that happened, show your fucking evidence. And if you're going to try to sit there and take somebody to court, guess what you got to do? Fucking show evidence. So if you're not going to show DMs, how's that going to work out for you with your little fucking lawsuit, you dumb fucking cunt? Yet again, well, fucking people have brought up, not just me, but other fucking people have brought up multiple times. There you go. Fucking, you have fucking... Uh, claimed all this fucking shit but there's no evidence which just leads me to believe that you're a wannabe fucking thought drama whore hey schmeckle we should bring a uh, race jacobson on here he's been defending her the past couple of days maybe he knows more about this situation than she does uh, race race has been around for a while i don't know if i've ever spoken to him but yeah he's He's welcome. I think he's on. been on the stream a couple of times. Uh, he's, cool if he's the one I'm thinking of, he, he came up uh, with the eventual new name for the channel. So, uh, yeah, bring him on. I don't know if I have him in my DMs or not, for sure. Well, why don't you figure that out? And don't let it just be dead air while I'm gone. I gotta go take a piss. All right, fine. We'll go. Cut stream. Yeah. Did you just say cunt stream? Yes. That was supposed to be break on through, but okay. Uh, you don't know the doors? No. Yeah. Yeah. This is the music stream. I, I, I know, but it's about the fucking cunt stream, damn it. Get your priorities in order. You know, the night destroys the day. The day divides the night. You try to run. You try to hide. 
Well, and it's funny because, you know, with this whole fucking Sarah situation, I tried to fucking be on her side multiple fucking times. I said, give me the fucking evidence. I'll be on your side. I'll fucking side with you. I have no fucking problem with that. But yet she fucking did it. And because apparently you have more fucking evidence than her and she has been proven wrong multiple fucking times, she ends up blocking me fucking... Yeah. Trying to do all this stupid shit. Like, oh, okay, so I see how it is. Somebody doesn't agree with you, and then you block them. And, and you try to just be a douchebag to them because they're not taking your side. Because that's what I see, sir. You're only fucking going for people who are on your side and then causing drama. And then, well, oh, poor is me. Woe is me. I'm going to stream about all this fucking drama. Yeah. Well, I got the link out the race. So if he wants to come in and, you know, just give his version of the situation or whatever the hell he wants to tell us, that's cool. Yeah. Like I and, said, it seems like a good guy. And I'll put it to them like this. I'll fucking mute myself. I don't know about you, Trippy, but I'll mute myself and I'll let him fucking say his whole goddamn fucking piece, whatever the fuck he wants to say to defend Sarah. Sarah's still mad about me holding my phone up to my camera that night and showing the message I sent her. I'm not a messy person. I've never shared DMs. But Whatever. you don't you don't fucking understand what I'm saying. Listen very closely, f- fucktard. Uh whoa, whoa, one second. Uh it, it, she's pissed about the DMs you shared. <laughs> Did, but you only shared your messages. Yeah. <laughs> we only saw messages from you. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. Uh if you feel like telling other people what you've said. That's that's entirely okay. It's not like he shared anything private you said. He shared uh, the phrasing of the invite he had sent you. <laughs> and uh, don't do, don't try and spin on. things, Sarah. Gotta be a little more honest than that. Well, Race, the reason that I sent you the invite is because y- you seem to have defended Sarah a few times. I want to hear what you have to say about this situation. You keep telling her to stop feeding the trolls. We don't have to troll about it. We can just talk like adults. She just yeah, wants I, I, to I'm not trolling. Me from I'm, everything. Uh, I'm not trolling here. I'm con- I'm concerned. She is uh, threatening uh, one of my co-hosts with uh, legal action because of something that uh, allegedly happened on my stream. And the, the, this is not trolling race. Sarah and I have run into an issue and i'm not trolling either i'm calling out a shitbag person for being a shitbag person i'm back to miss anything <laughs> i've never been mean to ace or said anything to or or in wait no what the fuck or said anything to or about me but yeah you talk about you all the time sir i'm oh, starting to think sarah is not the greatest with uh with the english language i think she meant uh she's never said anything about ace Ace. Oh, now it's my fault. There, when you had a oh, fucking run. breakdown on his behalf, yeah. uh, uh, when you pulled a fit, as if uh, the veteran that you were trying uh, to defend needed the the defense of, uh, I don't know, I want to say a soccer mom, but you're too old and probably too single. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I swear that uh, one of the times that Zell was talking to her, she said that she can't actually have a kid anymore. And Zell was very sad to hear that. That explains a lot. Well, uh, you know what, Sarah? I will not make jokes about you being barren if that's the case. If that's the case, then uh, I apologize for that last I will. child remark. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm, try- I'm trying to be nice here, Trippy. Um, uh, I want right, to read right. your resolution here. Hold on. She just said we wouldn't be in this situation if Trippy wouldn't have said anything to me in UA's chat. First of all, it wasn't really him. He was just fucking bullshitting around, joking around with you. Secondly, it was you, yet again, you dumb fucking cunt. You brought up his fucking dead dad. You said something about his stepdad fucking raping him. And then you try to claim that you forgot all about it. Which okay, just is to be sure here, my stepdad never did rape me. I'm just saying that's it. Uh, that's uh, that uh, point she, says, <laughs> she, she, she says she just said uh, she never wants kids. So uh, I take yeah, it I just, back. I saw that. 
So I we can make fun of him being barren. All right. Uh, we got, uh, uh, dude, are you sure that's the account you want to use? Just make sure before you say anything. Uh, this thing, I, I don't always, I can't always control what, what, what Google Hangouts does. So I'm fuck it. I'm just going to go as is. Okay. It's just not the, it's not your real name. It's just not, uh, not the usual one you use. Yeah. I, oh, wait, we want mean my real name. Race Jacobson. Yeah. That's my real name. Oh shit. Uh, I I'm didn't know that was your real name. Oh, that'd be a weird uh, person. Never mind then. Not an issue. <laughs> I, was, I, I was actually named after my uncle. I don't know where he got the name from. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't in the KKK or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. All right. So what's uh? Oh, wh Basically, what do you got on this think? Sarah thing? Yeah. What you, what's up? Say again. Uh, well, what do you got on this Sarah thing? What's uh? Which your parts? view on it? Which part? Uh, let's let's start with the part I'm interested in. The uh, legal case she thinks she has against Drippy. Fuck. I don't even know enough about that situation. I haven't really been paying to. This particular beef between Sarah and Trippy. So, all right. So let's uh, let's hear about what you what you do know. We're about like again. I don't know very much at all. I just know that they exchanged news. There was an emoji used on some on the tits, and she didn't like that. Blah blah blah. And I I, I, don't, I don't really care. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Trippy. It seems like once again we were looking for some defense of Sarah and. Uh... We, we we failed to find. I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not taking any sides here. <laughs> so in other words, that whole lawsuit thing is just indefensible, right now. I, anyway. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, I don't know whether or not there is a lawsuit here. That's. I, I'm not a fucking lawyer. I don't know shit about that. I don't know how that. <laughs> how that how, how all that would go down. So. No, I mean, see, Sarah would rather there, yell if at there's, people. If there is a if there is a lawyer in chat, do speak up. <laughs> oh, we. We actually do have Ichabod we could reach out to. He's not technically a lawyer, but he, he passed the bar and all that. I wow. think his specialty is in whatever fucking state he's in. So bird law. Say again? Bird law. Bird law. I'm hey. just saying bird law to say bird law. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, now, uh, Sarah Hatchaby Sanders has uh, pointed out, Annie, you fucking twat, you know nothing. Uh, why are her and Annie fighting? I thought the like the the, the tooth thing was done. Are, are they? I don't know. <laughs> are they fighting about is that else? is <laughs> is that what we're real? Is that what they're really gonna waste their time talking about in chat? It's like <laughs> I waste I wasted time on it too, but at least I can admit I was wasting time. I just said a thing, and now it's an argument. <laughs> uh, see, uh, the they're both right. Pills, some of them, and also some um, inhalers, shit like that. They can harm your teeth. They can harm your mouth, all, like your gums, your tongue, all of that. Most of the people who have fucked up teeth because they're fucked up on pills have fucked up teeth because they're fucked up all the time and they don't bother to brush their teeth or, yeah. uh, or that, you know, take, take base. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's one of the things that Sarah was in there trying to claim, that Trippy said it's because of the pills that their teeth are fucked up and nothing else. Like, no, bitch. He said a lot of the people who have fucked up teeth are also popping pills. Like, you, do you not understand words in fucking context? No, no, to be fair, I, I think Trippy did say something along the lines of teeth, uh, fucked up teeth because yeah, of popping because pills. Of, but because he took pills is what I said. Yeah, it, it, the, That doesn't mean he's just saying the, the pills fucked up his teeth. It's all the things that come with uh, being a pill popper, okay, it most so, likely so, is. So now that, that we've put that to bed, we can fuck. <laughs> we can stop talking about it in chat too. There we go. Oh, now wait, it's wait. Sarah. Sarah, explain <laughs> this goddamn fucking suit. Explain the doxing, and more importantly, explain why why your mother keeps telling me that you're not there, even though I can hear your voice in the background. Yeah, come on here, just jump her mom's on. Not alive. Like I said, I can There's leave. no way her mom's I, alive. I actually a lot, know a lot more about that beef, and I'm just going to say it's just a typical bad breakup. Lover's girl, don't, no, no need to worry. Yeah, about it. And it's basically squash. And it's, and it's no squash. lost <laughs> whatsoever. And I would have let it go, too, if she hadn't mentioned my name in another person's chat. I mean, shit. She starts talking shit in a different live stream I wasn't even watching. And I actually have the screenshot from that. 
Sarah, she, Sarah, she you're gonna have to lawsuit. stop being mean to to Annie. She's more valued than you here. You should wrench Annie. I, I, I don't know why she doesn't have one. Actually, it's probably because of the wrench apocalypse that happened. Oh yeah, I did multiple times have to take everyone's wrenches. Yeah, the quarterly wrench purge. <laughs> and actually, you know what? Just to be fair, Sarah gets one. She'll lose it the minute she abuses it. But Sarah gets one, so no one takes. Uh, so like, so no one boots yeah. her. I've been on a channel where I had a wrench and she didn't. I'm not gonna do that. That's somebody else's channel. You know? I don't exactly. I, I hate it. I, do it. I hate it when the people with wrenches pull that shit. You have wrenches uh, because I know uh, people like their wrenches. And, you know, if you've been here long enough and you seem like you're not a piece of shit, uh, you get one. Or, in Sarah's case, when I think people might abuse theirs. Uh, but I should point out, nobody tonight has. Oh. All of the people who currently have wrenches and are currently here are, are trustworthy, except for Sarah. I just got a little bit of comic book news. Uh, apparently, Joaquin Phoenix has been confirmed as the Joker <laughs> for an upcoming <laughs> movie. <sake. laughs> Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix, Phoenix has to be like 50-something. Yeah. Well, uh, how does it go? Is the Joker older than Batman, or no? Uh, it depends. Sometimes he's supposed to be uh, Jack Napier, and sometimes they tie Jack Napier into the murder of uh, Batman's parents. Like they lump him in with uh, with Joe Cool. <clears throat> uh, 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 one moment. I think my oven timer just went off. I'll be right back. So actually, yeah. I Guess in that scenario, the Joker would be about fifty. Mm -hmm. I mean, Batman's got to be at least thirty, right? Yeah. So like forty-five, uh, if you assume like uh, <laughs> Batman was like five or six, and I was also saying that Ben Affleck is completely out now. He's just not going to be Batman anymore. I think we all knew that. I still haven't seen uh, Ben Affleck as Batman, uh, other than clips here and there. Like I know how people said he was a good Batman or whatever in the one movie, the BBS, but he had what, like a couple of minutes of screen time as Batman, maybe. Yeah. How do you know he did a good job? Well, he did a good <laughs> job because he came to this voice where I am Batman. Bah, bah, bah. Oh my god! Now they're arguing whether or not Sarah. Abuses her wrench privileges. Okay. Man, Sarah, why doesn't anyone like you? Am I the only one that loves you? Am I the only one here who has any love for Sarah? Yes. Well, heard some news from the grapevine, and uh, a lot of the people that back her got nudes from her before they started being backers of her. And they still backed her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's a lot of desperate people on the internet. Well, yeah, but there's also Google. Yeah. Type in boobs. You'll get better than what you got. You might even Jesus get mine. Jesus Christ. Motherfuckers, if, if you start, uh, if you start uh, donating uh, $50 <laughs> or more on Streamlabs, I will send pictures of, of my right nipple. You can't see the left, though. That's for $100 donors, donators. Uh, <laughs> I, I was going to say donors. Uh, the, the problem. Oh, okay. uh, somebody in the chat's eating a hundred donuts recently. Right, Sarah? man. It wasn't a hundred. A hundred donuts is fucking expensive. You gotta get them in those little box that come in like twenty five. And I mean, it, it, once you hit three of those, uh, you figure, man, if I carry four of those, there's a good chance I won't be able to see uh, because you know I got these little stumpy arms. And then you know you don't want to trip and squish all your donuts because then you gotta eat them off the ground like a pig. And uh, she's already yeah. had to do that three times this month. It's, well, she says, embarrassing. Uh, she says, who got news for me that backed me? Well, oh, hold okay. on. I guess hold nobody on. then. One second. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no. I have a better question. Uh, uh, statement, rather. She says, please explain that. Sarah, baby, why don't you come explain it? Well, not only that, why are you expecting him to explain that when you won't even fucking explain this whole lawsuit bullshit? 
And oh, the other thing is, uh, Trippy doesn't just go out there and throw fucking names out like somebody <laughs> else does. Yeah. I don't know if she came on here to try to explain it. She'd probably have a list of like 50 people that she sent them to and give their first, middle, and last name and their location. And who knows? You don't know what she's going to do. Sarah, uh, you've disappointed me tonight. I'm uh, I'm not going to break up with you. Uh, we haven't we haven't reached that level of disappointment. Baby, but, come uh, back. It's going to be a good 3 Three and a half days before we can have sex. I mean, I'm I'm gonna have to withhold, Sarah. It, He's gonna make sure you truly love him. Yeah, right. you have to prove yourself to me. How, on a more serious question, how much for both nipples? Uh, I think that was you, Schmeichel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I, I, I guess I could give a a deal there. A hundred and twenty-five, and you get both nips. Ooh. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Got like how gladiators in there. He's like Sarah. Hey, mom. Guess show. what? I'm an internet whore now. Get your app, Schmeckle. Yay! You know, like how his mom calls him Schmeckle. It's cool. My little Schmecky Schmecks. Yeah, it, it is my birth name. Yeah, I'm gonna change mine. I'm just gonna write it on my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Trippy poop, Kelly. Uh, Gladiator Hawk says, uh, Sarah, when have you been on the show? The fuck? <laughs> uh, Gladiator, if you would like to go back, uh, there is a stream called Sarah vs. Everyone. The uh, avatar is Lo-Fi, a blonde chick, uh, and AP, uh, a frog, doing, yeah. uh, doing bondage. It's a five-hour stream. Sarah's in there for what, the last oh, hey, three hours. Oh, hey, got another comment there, Schmeckle, from the Sarah's. I should have known that AP was a sub. If Trippy, Schmeckle, and Ace will be quiet and don't talk and let me talk, I will come on. Sarah, uh, uh, first off, I want to use Echo in and have a bunch of noise in the background. Thank you. Uh, Sarah, if you come on, uh, I will not be silent. I will not force Trippy or Ace to be silent, but we will I'll let you myself. get your bed out. Yeah, I'll mute myself. Yep, I'll mute myself. We we will let you speak and you can say your bit. And uh, we got Annie in the chat saying mute them. Yeah, you have full reign to to mute the two of them if uh, if they get rowdy. How's that sound? Well, we all uh, paused. We just she can't actually give an immediate response. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I already said that I would fucking mute myself if she wants to come out and fucking give her goddamn bit. Like, I I don't know why, like, she doesn't understand words, but this has already been said, and same thing with Trippy. He said that. Maybe she had to go do her makeup so she could come on here and not use her camera. I'm just saying. Very possible. So you want her to come on and just talk about the Trippy beef, or do you want her to talk about the demon beef? Uh, I, I want to hear about both. Uh, that that beef's already been crushed, and oh, okay, and 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 if we talk about it, it's just gonna rile up demon again. All right, what so we'll uh, we'll talk about the 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 trip. Not that shit. riling up thing. Uh, she says uh, she can't mute yet. Sarah, if they get rowdy, I'll mute them. So, I'll be right back. Uh, we're apparently gonna be going a little longer than I thought since. Uh, yeah, have Sarah popping in. Uh, Trippy, entertain the chat. Uh, 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 Trippy, uh, back in high school, was actually voted most likely to be a beatboxer, which uh, <laughs> oh, was strange considering he had never beatboxed before and still haven't, has still hasn't. Uh, but uh, while well, I'm gone, Trippy, drop a beat. Uh. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Just laugh for five minutes while he's gone. That that was musically beautiful. Uh, and this, this is why I said we should name the stream music illiteracy, not literacy. Yeah, we could probably always change that. Who knows? Or I could just go. <laughs> That's right. Fist bump race. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> What's this genre called? Poop step? I don't know. I think I stole it from Family Guy. Uh, I guess. Well, yeah. You should have the link in our Twitter, so. Yep. Uh, I got two 10 out of 10s. 10 out of 10 Sony Records. 10 out of 10 Best Beatbox. Did anybody yeah. send uh, Ichabod the link yet? Wait. Ichabod? Oh, the lawyer, dude. I don't yeah. have him on Twitter. I had never heard that name before tonight. I may have heard it. I don't know, though. I know Ichabod Crane. Didn't he have a... No, 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 no. no. Oh, Ichabod Orange. Word. Ichabod Orange. She's a frequent co-host of the Mistaken Lunatics podcast. Uh, that'd be another um, podcast I'll have to start watching. That's, a, that's the one with Rob and uh, Mocha, right? Yep, that's the one. Yeah, so I am sub to it. I just... Yeah. Hey. You are free to go. Okay. First of all, I'm not talking about anything about the doxing thing because I'm not finished. And I don't give a fuck what Demon Hobbit says. He threw me under the, under the fucking bus and that's all I'm going to say. But I'm not finished because I have other information that I have. You hear that, Demon Hobbit? So, fuck you. secondly, Sorry, go ahead. when it comes to the fucking lawsuit, I, was, I just fucking said that to fucking scare Trippy, okay? He admitted... On stream, that he censored the fucking picture. Okay, why would you censor it if you wasn't going to share it? When Mark asked him, okay, did you share it? He fucking laughs about it. He didn't say no. He didn't say yes. But that's it. There, you know, people can fucking speculate. Say, you know, did he share it or did he not? There's a fifty-fifty chance. Okay. Yeah, Secondly, but a, a speculation does not make a court case. Okay. Secondly, if Trip, we wouldn't be in this situation if Trippy would have never said anything to me in UA's chat when me and Demon Hobbit were going back and forth. It was a fucking joke between me and Demon. Okay. If he would have never said anything to me, even if he just would have said, hey, Sarah, whatever, you know, just, hey, you know, if he wouldn't have sit there and come at me first. We wouldn't be in this situation. And again, and, it got, and with the picture, with the video, he could have fucking deleted it. He didn't have to watch it. He didn't. He just could have fucking deleted it. And we wouldn't be in this situation. Then as, as well as if I wouldn't have sent it, we wouldn't be in this fucking situation. And for Annie, I own up to my fucking shit. Okay, I did say when Ace asked me about the DMs, I, I thought, he fucking sent it to me. And I said on my stream, I fucked up. He did not send me that. He did not ask for my tits. But he did ask for my tits, not only in the fucking live stream, but in the after stream and in the fucking chat. No, I didn't have to fucking send them. That it, you know, and that's on me. Okay? But then he also... He came on my stream when I was doing the fucking whole doxing thing and trying to fucking clear my fucking name. He sat there and said, well, you said, I don't care. Show my tits. So that's basically saying, oh, well, she gave me the go ahead or uh, that looks like permission. Yes, so, uh, but this this is not something he was saying initially. This is something well, that he brought up to after begin you. With? It's why something that you... he brought up after you started claiming that he had done so and, and after th he had pointed out that he had not then he brought up also she said go ahead show my tits yes i did say that but i still don't give somebody fucking permission i could have been well, fucking yeah, trolling. technically that that would be permission but it doesn't matter because he still did not do so he could sit there. I, I just said that shit to fucking scare him and also to see what fucking writer would go back and fucking tell. And when it comes to fucking putting. Okay, uh, so wait, now, out, now, now it's supposed to be just trolling him, trying to scare him, seeing what writer would do, but you've been going on about it all night in the chat. Well, no, 
I've been going on about it in the fucking chat, Schmeckle. It's That's because it was exactly the words again. I just said. It was you fucking brought literally again. just repeated what I said and tried to use it as video. an argument. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't say, don't, don't say my name. Don't fucking like whatever. Just leave, just leave it the fuck alone. Just fucking delete the video. Fucking drop it. And if you see me in fucking chat, fucking walk around me. Don't sit because, there and say uh, this person doesn't like, like you. Today. You've just made like today, uh, we. It, you've threatened legal action towards toward him. Of course, he's going to mock you, considering you have no case. You have okay. put yourself okay. in uh, uh, the Trippy's uh, Trippy's eyesight. We'll see. Uh, yeah, you no, have I've given him Trippie's a eyesight reason. Since the day that we fucking met. You uh, also well, you then you, you have uh, sorry. Point. You have gotten on Trippy's bad side. You have given him a reason to dislike you. But how many? Okay. While Trippie. frequenting the same places that he does, of I, course that's going to lead to some clashing, you, I, and of course even... he's going to be mean while it happens. Before I even met Trippy, I frequent these fucking places and never not once seen him in there. Mm-hmm. Sure. Trippy's been around here for ages. I've never seen you here. <laughs> I, you know what? It, this is fucking retarded. Like, I... When I subscribe to the cunt stream, I have been in the fucking chats. You can go through pretty much for the last three or four months. You can go back through the fucking chats and you can see my fucking name in there. Uh-huh. You know, just like today in uh, Renolations live stream. He went off on me he for no reason? He, he, no, because you brought me into this. You didn't have enough balls to fucking ask mm-hmm. me. She's like, you sit there and said, somebody deserves to be in jail. Well, I wouldn't say that. Uh, more like a mental hospital, but she knows who she is. And that's when I'm like, and that's when I sit there and told you, at least have the fucking balls to <laughs> ask me. Oh, my God. Either way, sir, what I was gonna say is like you, that if I point, warned you, Trippy, how the like don't get on my fucking bad side. You're gonna catch me the wrong time, the wrong fucking day. And I give you're you gonna this do warning. What? And now that you've seen that the other side of me, how far I will go, as in like <laughs> calling you, like going to, uh, with your fucking family, bringing your family into this and there. You sit there and say I'm a piece of shit, but I sit there and gave you this fucking warning. Yeah, but Sarah, Sarah, that's the thing. First off, uh, giving him a warning has, this, doesn't you matter. It doesn't, you know what? Uh, it doesn't I, fucking I'm, matter. I'm going to be he honest with you, Sarah. He can sit there Sarah. and say, Smackle, let me, please let me finish. Hey, go ahead. He can sit there and say that he didn't fucking send it, but I'm sitting here thinking in the back of my fucking mind, when you're sitting there laughing about it and you fucking censored the video, there's a fucking high chance that you showed it to somebody because there's fucking people coming to me they have n- I've never even fucking talked to and making fucking comments about my fucking titties. Uh, now, no, my, uh, Sarah, now, I Sarah. have sent my fucking titties to other people, but these are people that I fucking trust, that I know that I have fucking shit on them. Sarah, there's, uh, there's, there's a couple things here. Uh, with, uh, uh, with him showing the things, he's still just going on speculation, and that does not make a case. Uh, you've had people they, they, commenting on your titties. There's fucking cases that they've had murder cases and everything that's been on fucking speculation. Yes, uh, and they've been able to prove it. It's called benefit yes, of the uh, doubt. When they can prove it. No, it's not benefit of the doubt. When, uh, when uh, the they benefit of the doubt comes in. This. When the benefit of the doubt comes into legal cases, that means uh, an innocent verdict, not a guilty one. That's what the benefit of the doubt well, is. Okay, look at, okay, you want to bring up that? Okay, well, look at R. Kelly. They had fucking evidence on him. And, and again, and why, they, led, again, why he wasn't an... acquitted is what I put in the chat. And, and ag- again, uh, Sarah, that's unrelated. Uh, kind of backs up my point that uh, it leads to an innocent verdict. But more importantly, uh, you're, you're coming after Trippy just... with all this shit. You're upset that... Uh, uh, we wouldn't the, be in this situation if he would have just fucking stopped. If if he would have stopped while you were antagonizing him, I have. Uh, you were antagonizing really antagonizing him. That night, Sarah, if he would have uh, never said anything to me. He would have kept his fucking nose out of somebody else's fucking business. Yeah, we wouldn't Sarah, be in this Sarah, fucking Sarah, situation. Sarah, Sarah, look, look at it this way. Ace of Skull. Yes. Every military man is a faggot. Okay. Ace 
<laughs> that was the wrong response. <laughs> you were supposed to get angry and yell at me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I believe that See, this is... The, but the, 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 the point I was making, Sarah, is if I insult somebody and they insult me back, I can't complain that they've insulted me. I'm not complaining that he's fucking insulting me. I'm just saying. Uh, you're complaining he that he's there, continuing a fight that you're he, continuing. When he saw me in there, me going on between me and Demon Hobbit, we were fucking joking, okay? It was between me and him. He didn't have to put his fucking nose in it. He could have just went on and fucking said something else to somebody else, but no, he fucking singled me out, and we got into it, and now you're looking at me like I'm a piece of shit because I brought his uh, his dad in this. I literally fucking forgot that his dad fucking died, okay? I have right. other shit going on in my fucking real Here, life. Sarah, that is a I, lot I forgive more you fucking... for getting... I forgive you for forgetting that my dad died. No, you, you, still no, a piece you said of you shit. would never forgive me that I could apologize as many times. Eh. And, after, and after I said that, I came right after I said that, I eh. fucking messaged you and said, look, dude, that was fucked up of me. I right, should have never fucking while. said Here, that. I forgive you. You're still a piece of shit. Yes, yeah, Sarah, I think what you're not realizing is there are your specific uh, actions, things you've said. And then there's just the general fact that a lot of these actions and shit have been dishonest. You are a because liar. Because I won't share fucking DMs because I'm not a messy fucking person. Uh, Sarah. Because I don't trust any fucking body to fucking share fucking DMs because once Sarah, they're fucking did, out there, everybody's gonna fucking get them. Sarah, did Trippy Poop show your boobs on the cunt stream? Or show your picture uh, on no, the cunt he, stream? No, he did not. But no, he, he did not, no, but that's a claim that you made, was it not? Yes, it was. So that was a lie. Because, it, it, right, it is. That is a fucking lie, and I will own up to that. But my point is that he was asked by Mark, did you share it? And he fucking laughs about it. Okay? Okay. You okay, so, uh, them. Why would you fucking censor them to begin with? Why didn't you just fucking delete them? Uh, again, it's the kids scribbling in the fucking magazine. No. Yeah. No. You're, why, <laughs> if you were going to censor them, you have some ma malicious intent on fucking sharing them. <laughs> no. But, yes. Uh, and uh, you're going again on <laughs> speculation. And that's <laughs> not <laughs> how you build a legal case, Sarah. You're I'm the sure. oldest among us. You should know this. I'm fucking 32, and everybody, you know what? If I have to fucking <laughs> go get my fucking birth certificate right over here, fucking no, no, don't black do out that. every fucking no, thing. Don't I'm do that. I'm fucking 32 years old. I know when the fuck I was born. Like, you're not going to sit there and argue a fucking legal document that has a goddamn fucking notary republic. Sarah, are you an yeah. illegal immigrant? Do you have a fake birth certificate? <laughs> nope. Are you from Syria or Mexico? I'm from neither one. I'm from like North Carolina, whole... born and raised. It... In, in all seriousness, Trump right now. <laughs> in all seriousness, Sarah, like if you did try to fucking push a lawsuit against Trippy, what would you even try to get him charged with? Like, what what offense did he commit? Hurting your feelings, emotional distress? Like, no, what's going on? I don't want no money from it. <sighs> oh, that to... doesn't that doesn't matter. If you were to push like, was, a legal case, what would the charges be? Regardless it's if I, was in a, I wasn't in a relationship or anything, if he shared my photo, like I said, it's a 50-50 it, fucking chance. It is not. A, did, it, it, it is a 50-50 chance in the sense that there are there are two choices. It is not a 50-50 chance in terms and of the jury, odds of looking at that video or provable. Looking at the video on the cut stream of him laughing about it and him saying he censored it, <laughs> they're going to fucking think, well, yeah, maybe he fucking did do it. I can't I'm not get trying arrested to put anybody maybe. in fucking jail or anything. Like I fucking said it to see what malevolent writer would go back and say. No, you didn't. And Bullshit. yes, I did because Bullshit. just because I didn't fucking share everything. And who you cares? Know, like, you're I know talking what the shit about another see. person who's not there, and somebody else and, who's interested know, in the situation sees it. Because Malevolent, they're probably going to go back to the person you're talking shit about. Mouth, just like he was writing his mouth in the fucking chat. He's a good okay. guy. Okay. If I get one ounce no, of I, I, I gotta ask Sarah, Sarah, Sarah what do you have so hard against the malevolent rider? 
because he runs his fucking mouth about shit that he knows nothing about. Man, that motherfucker can't run his mouth. He walks his mouth the best. Hey, like, he doesn't know what's going on, and he wants to bring up somebody from somebody else's stream because I was asking general questions about how tall they were, how old they were. Like, that's just fucking general fucking questions, and it's none of his fucking business. Apparently, you guys have your own little beef going on. Like, and for me, and him sitting there saying, well, she told three people to shut the fuck up, and I'll still fucking say it. Shut the fuck up, Ryder. Stay out of fucking people's business that doesn't concern you. He doesn't. Yeah, he I don't does. even see why we need to bring him up but right now. The, that's is one of the things, sir. When, when you make this shit public, uh, when you make it especially in stream form, for an audience. That audience is going to comment on what's going on. They're going to see and what's right, going on. He has on. a right to fucking comment on it. But he's sitting there fucking exaggerating the fucking truth or fucking omitting fucking facts. Okay, and then uh, explain what he's exaggerating or leaving out, Sarah. Okay, I did That's why you're here. Shut the fuck up. Okay? And he's sitting there bringing other people that have nothing to do with me and Trippy or me and the fucking uh, doxing. And he's sitting, you're sitting there bringing up people. Like, why? They have nothing to do with this. So what, you want them to be, what, collateral damage? No, wait. Uh, I'm sitting here no. trying to do fucking damage control. I'm sitting here trying to clear my fucking name because uh, I'm accused of doxing. And who knows what demon is going around telling every fucking body. And he also brought somebody else in. You know, that's trying to be fucking collateral damage. If he wouldn't have spazzed out that fucking night, we wouldn't be in this fucking situation. And I do have the fucking text messages to prove. And I will be fucking releasing them, even though it goes against every fucking thing that I stand for. All right, uh, so, first off, it. yeah, definitely release them if people are lying about you. But, uh, who and was why, it, and uh, the girl who was fucking, it you doxed? And, and the first, supposedly, I doxed him. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I, I need but, a name. See, I have something on Ooh. him. That he is a fucking doxer because he gave me information, but it will not leave me. He will not fucking, it will not leave from my fucking phone. <laughs> like, I have the fucking proof, and y'all were sitting here fucking laughing. Like, you think it's yeah. funny. This is not fucking funny. Because Does that mean that Michael sent your DMs have... to somebody because he's laughing? <laughs> he get a hold like, of your fucking up, phone. Please, shut up. <laughs> Like, All right, you said please. I see how people that have had their name and the word fucking doxing in there, I see how y'all fucking treat people. Okay? I've seen it on fucking live on fucking live streams and in the fucking chat. Okay, he did the same exact fucking thing to me. But see, I use my fucking real name. I have nothing to fucking hide. And you know what? Come after me. Bring your fucking ass to Newton, North Carolina, where the fuck I live. And we'll fucking settle this. Because you'll either have require a fucking hospital or you'll leave in a goddamn body bag. Wait, wait, no, Sarah, Sarah, have we I'm resorted to murder. asking people to fight in real life? Stop it. Yes. Like, I'm not a fucking afraid of anybody. And there's not one motherfucker or bitch walking this fucking earth that I will ever fucking back down <clears throat> Sarah, I ain't afraid of you either. I'll, I mean, I mean fuck, catch me outside. How bad catch that? Catch me outside. But I'm sitting here having to do outside. fucking damage control over a fucking girl who fucking sit there wait, and went and, and, to fucking demon. No, no, no. Went to it's fucking the, demon. Wait, no, and who, I'm going to kiss her who's for this fucking girl? doxing. Bitch, I've had two fucking conversations with you. <laughs> uh, who's, who's this girl? Her name's Fire. And I'm like I said, I'm getting ready to do another fucking live stream because I've received other information of people trying to defend me and speak on my fucking behalf. Nobody Man, you got people actually willing to defend you? Why the fuck can't you bring them in here? You'd be doing so much better. Is it? Like, I appreciate like this person movie? standing up for me. I fucking appreciate it so fucking much. But you do not speak for me. And I don't need you to fucking defend me or go to uh, Ghastly or go to AP and fucking sit there like, you know, no, she didn't do this. That Like, I fucking appreciate it so fucking much. But I can sit here and prove every fucking thing with the doxing thing. Then do it. But I'm, you know, I will fucking do it, do it now. Schmeckle. I will fucking do it, Schmeckle. But I'm sitting here. I, I, the last two fucking days, I've been sitting here fucking going back and forth, man. This goes against every fucking thing that I stand for. You know, uh, releasing fucking DMs. That's fucking messy. Even though I fucking censor their name, like, 
And even when I, it, that's another thing. I can send to their fucking name and they're going to be like, well, how do we know it's from that person? You could be lying. This could be anybody. So I'm fucked either way. Because I have fucking morals and fucking principles and fucking ethics. I have never shared any fucking DMs from anybody. And I still have fucking people coming at me, like, automatically assuming that I'm a fucking doxer. If if I'm going to dox anybody, it's going to be myself, and I have fucking done that. And it fucking sucks. Yeah, Sarah, one thing you got to realize, the accusation's been made. And yeah, the the burden is on uh, the other person to prove their claims. But uh, you're on the internet. (laughs) You both got to do your thing. If it's fake, See, he's not going to go out of his way to disprove it. I have fucking mouth about Demon Hall, but I have not said not one fucking bad thing about him. But well, you... I heard that you posted uh, either his name or his picture. His pictures are on the fucking internet. Okay. It's on his fucking Twitter. Okay, so it would have been his name then. I heard it was, it was only his, first okay, name. Okay, it was his first it, name. It was, and the it two was people in that fucking private fucking Discord phone call Knew his fucking first name. Okay? When he fucking came (laughs) after me that fucking night. When Hmm. he came after me that fucking night. I wasn't thinking. I was fucking upset. I was like, what the fuck? He spazzed out over a fucking message that I sent to somebody else in a fucking live chat. And he fucking comes at me fucking acting like he's my fucking boyfriend. When he's... Man, he wants to act like he's the guy that's sticking me. That's way out of line. His claims on my live stream is that he was fucking trolling me that night. Okay, if you were trolling me, why'd you block my number? Why did you even fucking do it to begin with? And the person See, now that, that sounds like scorned lover shit. And, and the person did you guys that, used to bang? No, we we've never met in real life. Only on the internet. Oh, I, you I guys used to, to do the, 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 the thing where you both shove your junk at the camera. <laughs> and, uh, how, however, cyber sex <laughs> works. You know, this is not fucking. This is not funny, hmm. Schmeckle. This is fucking serious. Hey, it's funny. I, I'm to not going to be Trust labeled me. as a doctor. My fucking story is the same fucking thing, and I'm fucking sticking to it. My story has not fucking changed, and I have all the fucking call logs. I have all the fucking evidence. Then to break back out me this up. proof. And, but I will show it, Shrekle. Break it out. Understand? For. for somebody like you that don't have no fucking morals, don't have no fucking ethics, that you will You don't show know it. him, though, Sarah. Let no, me I see how you conduct yourself. You don't know you him. You know what? When you sit back and you shut up and you and sit there and just fucking observe people, you will learn a fucking lot about somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe by the time I'm your age, I'll have this knowledge, but I, I got some Shrekle, time to go. I'm only seven fucking years older than you. Get a fucking grip. <laughs> You're at least twice my age, and you no, know. No, I'm it. not. I know exactly how old I am. <laughs> I know exactly the fucking day I was born. I have my goddamn birth certificate. What day were you born? February 6th, 1986. 86. I'm 32. Oh, no. yeah, that, that, that does make her seven years older than me, but I think she's lying because I can see I'm what she lying. looks like. I was born in 87, and I'm only uh, 30. <laughs> how the fuck are you 32? Uh, because Trippy, she was born early in the year, and you were born late in the year. Don't be <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm just about to be 31, though. How is she, like in October? Because she turned 32 this year, and February you turned 31 this year. You were born in October <laughs> of 87. Can you not do simple fucking math? Yeah, no, I'm not sorry. That, yeah, you lose streaming. that one, Trippy. I know. Jesus. See, Sarah. Sorry, she's rubbing off on me. When you're in the right, when you're in the right, I am willing to take your side. Like I don't, I don't believe this is the only time that's happened. Like you're not gonna fucking sit here and I show, like I'll show my fucking birth certificate. I'll fucking black out the fucking shit. It's a fucking legal document from fucking Catawba (laughs) County, North Carolina. I look at details. What the fuck are you gonna black out? Fucking seal. You know, like I said in Ren's chat, I don't believe that you actually doxed anybody. No. Oh, what? What? Not what? 
I don't you believe. You said in my fucking chat when I was doing the first oh live God. stream that you probably, I probably did dox somebody because my story is yeah. always fucking changing. No, my fucking story has yeah. been the same. Exactly. So no, you can't sit there and say, no, you know how many things, things that you said? Do you know how many things that you've said that you said, said the exact that. opposite thing? Not okay. what, two days later? It's okay. So I said that big fucking deal. Yeah, I'm see, saying right now. I don't really believe that from what I've heard from your side of the story. I don't believe that that even would be doxing saying somebody's first name. Yeah, you need to understand and something, Sarah. There's, there's, there's a big uh, well, one, one, one second, Sarah. Sarah. One second, Sarah. The, no there's, further a doxing, geez. there's a difference between uh, Trippy changing uh, what he's saying here because he's got and new information and if has changed his opinion. It? You, on the other hand, have changed changed your stance on things that have come entirely from you, only from you. No, I haven't. When I fuck up, I fucking admit that, and I fucking own it. No, I shouldn't have fucking sent my boobs. No, I fucking shouldn't have sent it. And when I sit there and said, well, he asked me in DMs, and I went back and I looked, and he didn't. I said, you know what, Trippy? I saw, I'm sorry I fucked up. Me. Uh, yeah. t uh, to he, be fair, yes, she did, did. She did admit that. Uh, after stream, yeah, she admitted that the DM wasn't there. In fucking live chat, but again, I didn't have to fucking send them. But then again, he didn't have to sit there and say, "Well, I censored them to get me to like think, like, well, fuck, maybe did he do it? Oh did no, he see, it, send it like, yeah, you you can go back and look at that stream. Uh, all of our reactions when he said it. Or dude, that's you know, fucked. and, we, and again, we clarified that he had in never shared it. Situation: If I wouldn't have sent it, yes. If he wouldn't have said anything in UH chat, you know, we wouldn't be in this fucking situation if everybody would just. Honestly, though, Sarah, it's if you wouldn't have said what you said in UH chat. And I said there, yes. But and now I fucking apologize for it. I came right after I fucking said it because I felt like a piece of shit because I know how I am. But Trippy, I did in my defense, I gave you fucking warning after warning after warning. You wanted to see the other side of me. Before you're talking about the other side of you again for the 15 million time, whatever the fuck. I don't care. It's just you showing the true you. It's showing you. I fucking own that shit because I sit there and i and what? It's okay for you to come after my family? When the fuck did I You said shit about my mom. I don't know the exact context, but my mom was in there. Yeah, I don't get fucking butt hurt. Like, yeah. yeah, I fucked up. You know, I shouldn't have said what I said. And I, and again, I'm sorry. Like, you're at least 53. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Really, if, I, if I'm 53, my mom's 62. So she would have to have me when I, she was nine. All right. So your mom did that. No, she didn't. Cool. I bet she made the newspaper. Yeah, okay. You old bitch. Really? If I'm 53, then how is, how is it I have two older brothers and two older sisters that well, are 45 and 43? If you're not 53, then your tits are like 20 years older than you are. Whatever. It's just really. gross. Keep it to yourself for okay, now. Okay, that's fine. They're lesson. gross to you. They're gross. Well, whoever. I hope to God you haven't been sending it to too many other people. And if I have? What it business well, then we of got it is a lot of people missing half their eyesight. Okay. Well, beauty is in the, in the eye of the beholder. And just because you find them gross. Stop quoting your inspirational calendar from 1950. Quit it. That fucking saying's been around for a long fucking time. <laughs> yeah, they, I, I, in, I, in Sarah's I, case, beauty is in the eye of the beer holder. Once he's yes. couple that. But, I'm glad the energy is starting to die down. Maybe we can bring this to a close and move on with our fucking lives. Oh, I could bring the energy back up. Fucking oh, talk God, about fuck. this fat bitch who actually has to go and run and get people to help defend her fat ass because she can't come up with anything to say back to I me. I don't need ever. anybody to fucking defend me. Yes, you do. No, you I don't. You have somebody sitting around you waiting for somebody to talk a little nope. bit of shit so that they can white knight nope. or whatever the fuck you want to call it for you. Nope. You have somebody every goddamn time. Oh, yeah. And so what? You need a little well, help. Well, because I'm not a two-faced person? Yeah, Sarah! Okay, I'm a two-faced person. We've been calling you, you know a whole no, goddamn no. night. No. Uh-huh. 
Yes. Are, th- this is how you're two faced because you could have you could have sit there and said, you know what, Sarah, your titties are not for me. And if you turn you, your you head fast, you didn't have to say face. what you said. If I don't like somebody, I'll fucking tell them. And then I don't Sarah, go I think your titties look like bricks. To sit there and make their fucking life <laughs> miserable after is, I is that what he, I don't like them. Is that what he should have said? Should he have just yeah. responded? Hey, Sarah, uh, uh, your t- yeah, honestly well, is the best people- policy, except when you're talking to women about their gross titties. Yeah, okay. dude. And honesty is the best policy, except when it comes to you, because we've been honest with you. We've called you okay. out on your bullshit, honestly. Yeah. And you can't fucking handle it, Sarah. Okay. Also, old car. You've never been married, so you wouldn't know this, but uh, usually if a wife asks a husband, hey, does this dress make my ass look fat? He says no. Even if her ass looks really fat. (laughs) Then that guy doesn't have balls. Oh my god, it's just called keeping your wife happy. But he does have smarts. Anyway, why, as, why can't people be fucking words. honest these days? If you don't like something, just fucking say it and move Sarah, on. Sarah, I don't like you. Okay, congratulations. Th- yep, that's right, people in the chat. Sarah doxed my date of birth, even though she didn't even say it, and I did. <laughs> Sarah, stop doxing. <laughs> anyway, we, 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 we do have to shut the fuck down. I gotta start setting up uh, the, the yeah, next stream in like five minutes. Uh, so this, this was music, music literacy cuts. So we talked a little bit about, uh, R. Kelly and sex cults. And then we, uh, we started talking about this cunt. Um, I know I'm a cunt. Oh my God. Shut up. We we, we, certainly a show cunt. cunt, uh, Tune in in like half an hour or so. Uh, we got a new show starting. Uh, it's called the Blackman button. We're just going to be shouting out some other channels, shit like that. Uh, it's named after and in the spirit of uh, Stephen Blackman. Four went out. <laughs> four went out for the immortal wrench. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, until then, cunts. Uh, yeah, uh, fuck off. Uh, clean your cunts. Clean your cocks. Praise be the Lord. Sniggles. Rinse and repeat. Clean your, all that shit. Clean your just, clams. Wash just, your just, just, just take a general shower.